me. I hate it when it makes you do two-step verification on your own. On the same device. It's a bit that. Uh, and it's still saying that anyway. <laughs> Fix that journal. So pro tip with this game is use a hand controller. that we can't just use YouTube Studio. Pretty epic. Pretty epic. Damn. Okay, Kadeku, outskirts of the orbital launcher facility. There goes our Thunderhawk. Team leader to squad. Box check. Repeat. Kill team leader to squad. It's a very Four impressive points. looking game, eh? Very impressive. We have crashed. It's from your position. Do you have the virus bomb? Lost contact with Brother. Approaching orbital launcher facility. Well secured. Hellstrom, Alpha, I'm moving to the crash site. Do you read? There you go, there's your first glimpse. Every single one of those is an actual enemy that you could you could shoot and kill. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Transmitter must be broken. Crazy good. Crazy good looking. And they haven't even implemented DLSS 3. This is still using DLSS 2 for uh, improving the frame rate and stuff. Crazy. Leto them. Okay, easy peasy. We know how that works. Know how that works. Of a wee sprint. Where's that damn virus bomb? 
Bang sword combos. Yep. I'm up to my elbows in these wretched pawns. Any word from Brother Darius or the commander? It is left to us to share the glory now, Telstras. Hold on, brother. Okay, so we can parry. It's quite a generous parry window. The only confusing thing is you, you can parry even when you don't have the blue circle, as long as it's not a heavy attack. See, like that. I just parried it and I didn't have the blue. Didn't have the blue circle, so I, I don't quite understand that. Can he? Oh, here's a bigger boy. So we've got to dodge these attacks. Can't parry them. And parry them and give them a skadooshin. Oh, yeah. That was a finisher. Pretty self explanatory. They're still fighting away over there. I will, even if I have to chew my way through. Even if I have to chew my way through. Do let me know if volume levels are crap, like if the game is too quiet, if I'm too loud, anything like that. Pop a message in the chat and let me know. Go up here. The attention to detail on this game is insane. I don't know whether we can quite see it. If you look at his backpack, there's actually like a heat haze coming from the exhaust. So good. Oh, okay. They were fighting earlier and now they're not. That's a bad sign. Darius. Darius. Brother. Brother. I will repay them tenfold. He did. He did pretty well to hold out. How many he's taken on? This bolter will roar in your name, Darius. I swear on it. Here they come. It's really rare that I would play a PC game on the hand controller when it involves like aiming and shooting, but you have to play this on the hand controller. It's the the keyboard combinations are pretty gnarly if you try playing on keyboard and mouse. I found anyway, your mileage may vary. Okay, this is a cool little mechanic, but I've kind of already blown it. Oh, we might be able to do it. It's okay. So what we want to do is we want to parry one. I don't think it's going to actually do it. We might just have to show you that later on a bigger enemy. There we go. So you can knock him back and then you can do that, which is super cool. Right? And then we can do that to them. I'll have that ammo, thank you. I forgot you have to knock them back, not parry them to do the gun strike. It's a very cool mechanic. Wow. 
and it lasts a couple of seconds. Get me with acid. What's going on? Armor should. Yep. Come back. That's good. Get the virus bomb. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there's another one. Get wrecked, Tyranid scum. Oof. Just ripped his head up. Nice. You have honored the Imperium with your devotion. Yep, does he? Black Templars. Okay, we've got the virus bomb. That's good. Alpha, Hellstrus, if you can hear me, I have the virus bomb. Head into the orbital launcher. Okay. Oh, that's our space wolf, buddy. How cool is that? Didn't give me headshot. Thought it was going to give me headshot. That's all right. Take out the small ones. Boom! In your face. And chainsword to death. We go. Harry Window's pretty generous. Oh, this could be trouble. Ah, yeah. Okay. I pressed the wrong button, damn it. I'm getting shot from somewhere, where's that coming from? That was lucky. Almost died in the tutorial area. I mean, embarrassing. It's this guy. I don't think I've got a combat stim. No. Combat stims heal you. My armor's replenished, so we should be okay. Hellstrust, are you with me? I have the bomb. Find the orbital launcher. Let's get out of the ammo. Thought there was something else down there then, but there was not. Ah, I think we might have found Hellstrom. Hey. My kill team crash landed off course. My brothers are all dead. Slain by terrorists. I have the virus bomb. Moving to the orbital launcher. 
Can't miss the barrel completely. And we're about to see a horde. Let's take out this guy first though, because the shooty shooty ones are a big problem. More coming that way, or no? I find reloading often is a really good idea. Ammo cache fully replenishes. The little boxes you find just give you a little bit of ammo, but. Go through there. Virus is our one chance to delay the Tyranid invasion. The virus will spread through their forces. They will adapt, but it will slow them down. The virus must be launched into the stratosphere. Oh, got the indicator. Get out of that mess. Very cinematic. Uh, am I using a forty ninety? No, this is um this is a forty seventy, and I'm using DLSS uh DLSS. quality mode and it gives pretty pretty steady 60 fps at 4k doing that uh, it doesn't use ray tracing or anything so it's actually reasonably uh reasonably like well optimized they they the bigger issue is your cpu you can be very cpu bound Carry out the Omnisire's work, like killing Tyranids. Oh yeah! Plant the virus bomb into the orbital launcher. Apparently it runs really, really well on Xbox Series X as well. PlayStation 5 apparently suffers quite badly when you get the swarms. I don't know why. Okay, get some grenades. Now we have to go through some Adeptus Mechanicus bureaucracy to be able to actually fire the virus bomb. It's okay though. First time I played this I had the difficulty quite high and I actually like died in this prologue bit. It's pretty embarrassing. Have a grenade, boys. Ones that fire the acid at you are quite bad because they really whittle down your armor. A 
nothing that a good Bolter can't take care of, though. That's all right, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Machine Spirit, what is the status of the orbital launcher? Hibernation. Console inactive for 22 hours. This impiety to the Omnissiah has been locked. Activate launch systems. The right of initialization must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. The command console is posted at the edge of the observation platform. A Magos will attend to you shortly. Doubtful. Doubtful. Don't think there's any Magos coming to help me do this. I'm going to have to figure out what to do myself. Press the big red button, I think. Oh, you can hear that scream. Seismic disruptions have occurred. Launch trajectory may have been altered. Here comes the swarm. So every single one of these is a killable enemy and if I don't kill them here they're about to come over here Let's give those boys a grenade maybe give them one as well really have a window to reload. I do actually. I didn't think I did. in trouble here. I'm getting surrounded. Oh, I thought I had to actually press the button, but it's just a cutscene. That's cool. This is so epic. This is one of my favourite Games Workshop kind of cinematics, Warhammer cinematics. Damn. We just got wrecked. Gonna go down fighting. We've only got a few more thousand of them to kill. We'll be okay. We can do this. Oh, 
I love that. It's so, so satisfying when you pull one of those off. There's a lot of them coming. I have no grenades left. I am going to run out of ammo shortly. I don't... I think in this game, because we didn't in the last one, which was a huge problem, we get iframes. Because in Space Marine 1 you didn't get iframes when you're doing executions and it was a huge problem. You could often die doing a long uh, animation. Uh oh, it's, it's coming now. Oh yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, no, can't parry that. Come to it, thank you. Might as well keep going until all our ammo runs out. Ouch. I'm about to be food for the rippers. Or not. Oh, look at its jaw hanging off. I've just been saved. Who, who by? Who has saved me? Whoever it was. Thank you. I thought Titus was a goner. I thought he was a goner. I feel like my microphone keeps going far too much into the red. It shouldn't be. Let me know if it sounds too loud. It's Deku's orbit. Battle Barge Resilient, Day 4, 04-22-56. I don't know if that's the date or what. Oh, look at that scar. Ow. Hi. Praise the Emperor. <clears throat> Damn straight, praise the Emperor in this house. The wound was fatal. You survived only through the Rubicon surgery. We remade you. You are a Primaris now. Why? Lord Kalgar issued the command himself. Is he here? Gone. Summoned by the Primarch. I must get back to the Watch Fortress. You have been reassigned. My place is with the Death Watch. The Inquisition can find no stain on you. Titus, accused of heresy. You have served penance in the Death Watch for almost a century. And not once have you faltered. But you will never know redemption until you have faced the judgment of your brothers. Prove yourself to us and no true absolution. Okay. So, we've undergone surgery to turn us from a firstborn space marine to a primaris. My honor is my life. What is your fate? My duty is my fate. What is your fear? My fear is to fail. Pretty epic start, though, eh? What is your 
your reward. My salvation is my reward. Some begets doubt. Pledge. My pledge is eternal service. Badass. Absolute badasses. The Rubicon surgery has remade you as a Primaris Marine. You are now stronger, faster, and more resilient. You will take your place as an Ultramarine once more. Your brothers will know that you served in the Death Watch, but your dishonorable status as a Black Shield has been redacted from the Archives. Should it be discovered, there would be... questions. Lord Kalgar has offered you a second chance. Do not taint it. Cool. So, since the first game, obviously, Gamers Workshop brought out the Primaris Marines, who are bigger and faster and stronger, and Firstborn Marines can become Primaris through surgery, and that's what's just happened to Titus. So we've been in the Death Watch for a century since the last game. Love the graphics, love the atmosphere. You can toggle so that your characters don't wear their helmets, but Codex Astartes says you should wear your helmet. You know what I mean? This guy My Lord. is actually the Phobos Captain model. They brought him to life. Very cool. Have Sergeant Gadriel report to the bridge. How are your winds? Good enough. I'll be straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions, suspicions. I cannot afford discord among the men. Not now. You're a lieutenant now. Will that be a problem? No, Captain. Oh, so I've been demoted. I was a left uh, a captain well, in the first game. We're facing a Tyranid splinter fleet. They engaged us on two planets. Avarax, a high world, and Kadaku. Which you already know. We're abandoning the latter. It's mostly Adeptus Mechanicus research facilities. We're evacuating critical assets and personnel. These defense guns are keeping the skies clear for our ships. The Tyranids have taken note. Get down there and protect those guns. Captain, you wish to see me? Sergeant, this is Lieutenant Titus. He'll be taking over command of your squad. Sir, I expect you on the ground within 30 minutes. Dismissed. That was quite abrupt. Sorry, buddy. Lieutenant, forgive my hesitation. I am merely surprised by this development. As am I. This is Chiron. Sergeant Gadriel, the Absorber is ready to depart. Brother Chiron, this is Lieutenant Titus. He will be leading our squad. Is that so? Well, I shall be glad to have a commander of such experience. Is the rest of the squad ready? Already assembled on the flight deck. Good. We leave immediately. 
Let's go. There's a, without wanting to do a spoiler, there's a very cool bit of trivia about Chiron, but I'll point it out later when we get to it. It's very cool. What is our assignment? The Cadians have lost control of the orbital guns. We are to recapture them. We lost them already. The Tyranids are hurling scores of those guns in great waves. I'm impressed the Cadians held up this long. Same, actually. Brothers Lirio, Alterius, and Elliot make up the rest of our squad. Have any of you faced Tyranids before? Only these past two days. Then there is much to learn. What do you think you're doing? I look forward to it. All right, boys. Sergeant. Brothers, we are joined by Lieutenant Titus. Welcome, brother. We are yours to command. We leave immediately. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. First mission proper. Skyfire, Kadeku. The Imperial withdrawal of assets and personnel from Kadeku is at risk. The anti air defenses keeping the skies clear are under heavy assault from Tyranid forces. Cool, cool. Good boys, ready to go. Courage and honor. Sir, you served in the Death Watch. Yes. That must have been a great honor. Maybe not. It's a privilege to serve with you. Approaching drop zone. I think he's been pretty pretty good considering we've just been given command of his squad. You see those service studs? Our lieutenant is over two hundred years old. He couldn't have been born a primaris. You're right. And now he has your command. I run you big wind up merchant. Major Sakana. The wretched beasts have taken the orbital guns. They pushed us back to this encampment and are staging a heavy assault. Illyrio, take Alterius and Elion and remain here to secure the encampment. Yes, brother. Major, we must reach the defense guns. Yes, my lord. Follow me. Okay, let's go. We're going to war. Look at that. Major, we've got more incoming from the east. Move to reinforce the eastern flank. You, go with him. We'll assist him in the fence. Very good, my lord. 
aid the Estra Militarum. Go. Okay, I've got Righteous Fury. Oh, damn it. Messed up there. Multiple swarms. Oh shit. Get okay, stems, they're good. We are preparing an airstrike. Can you hold the enemy in place until it hits? Consider it done. I don't think these Imperial Guard dudes should be charging tyranids the lead frag grenades Where's that come from up here? Nope. Little acid fire ones are quite a problem because they really whittle down your armor very quickly. That. Clearly not. Here it comes. Burn! Yeah! The eighth never miss! The eighth never miss! If you want this base, owes you their life, my lords. The Emperor protects. We must proceed through the jungle to reach the orbital defense guns. Brother Lirio, assist the Cadians while they establish new defensive lines and then report back. Yes, Lieutenant. It will not take long. Into the jungle. The guns are on the other side of the swamp. Be alert. The Tyranids will be lying in wait. This will serve me well. Heavy bolt pistol, yes. These abhorrent husks are everywhere. Living I love the heavy bolt pistol. Indeed. Their ships, these pods, all of it. Their very existence is heresy. We shall thin their numbers today, brother. Do not stop you. Hate this thing.
Oh no, it didn't let me get my shot away at its head. Uh oh. Wiggle, 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 I might die, I might die, I might die. Yes. I'm not sure how many times you can die before you... I think it's three times? Yeah, rip it apart. Let's go and hunt the rest of them down. Pretty sure I got a combat stim actually. Yes. Punch those mushrooms in the face. You're familiar with this foe, brother? I am. How do the Tyranids compare to other Zedos? They are an unrelenting plague. But they are cunning. The controlling influence of their hive mind makes them act as one. Tread carefully. The spores detonate when threats draw near. Then let us take the advantage and destroy them. These things can absolutely wreck your armor pretty easily. those shots come from I don't know if you can call it an honor when you didn't ask to go there some ammo No grenades. Could really have done with some grenades, but that's all right. We'll carry on. Watch out for those spore mines. They are, they just destroy your armor really quick. Damn, two of these things. For real? Oh no, it's not one of them. It's just a Hormigand. Oh yeah.
running pretty low on ammo. Need an ammo crate or something. What have I got? I've only got 25 bolt shells. Let us proceed. No. The swamp will be infested with Xenos. There is a bunker straddling the riverbed. We will cut through there. But that will add considerable time. Surely we... We will not trade strategy for expediency. As you command. Lieutenant, Captain Akaran has given us new orders. You must proceed alone. Understood. Thank you, Lirio. See you. Yeah, frag grenades. We'll grab those. That's good. Bolt pistol? No, we'll keep the heavy bolt pistol. Thank you very much. What's that light up there? Oh! Maybe I need to stop wasting ammo on the smaller ones. It's messed up the timing then. Love the heavy bolt pistol. There's quite a few of them coming now. Join up with our squad, probably. So you get armor back by doing executions, which is pretty, pretty useful. But yeah, I'm just stoked that in this game they don't punish you for doing executions. Oh. Oh, sorry, dude. My bad. Someone will finish him off, or not, I will. Keep going. Oh, there's no ammo up here, was there? I don't think so, this is where we want to go anyway. We can get. Oh, we've already got grenades. That's all. Heavy bolter. Already got a chainsaw. Auto. Get that. And we'll get this. Hang on, what did I just grab then? I got auto bolt rifle. Fully automatic close range rifle. Here they come. Holy. Don't walk in front of me when I'm firing a heavy bolter, buddy. Come up this way if no one stops them and no one is. I should probably get over there, shouldn't I? Are you not the 
actually not done too bad. He says, and then the next wave comes. It's incredible, eh? Get out of it. How'd you get past my brothers? Oh, I needed the execution then, damn it. I needed that execution. That's really annoying. Uh, I didn't get it. I think next death, I'm Gomburgers. Those ones up there that are killing me. Oh, damn it. I'm probably going to die here. Yep, I think I'm going to die. Yep, damn it. That was annoying. That was really annoying. At least we don't have to do the entire thing again, but... It was the ones up on this cliff, the... Um, the ones spitting acid that caused all the trouble. not getting the execution on that that one it's real fine margins if you don't get the execution you don't get your armor back and that caused me to get the second death stock up on ammo again If you could shut the gates any time now, that would be awesome. Thanks, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. I look forward to it. 
that was a bit easier second time round. Because that was a little bit of a tough section there. And on my first playthrough, I died a few times there before I finally got through it. It doesn't have a lot of the, the difficulty spikes that the first game had, which is really good. They've improved it massively in that regard. Because the first game could get a little bit, had like three or four parts that were really frustrating because the difficulty just went crazy. Go ahead. We met with one of your squads. Thank you, my lord. I shall give them new orders. Oh, damn. Proceed. Looks like a slaughter. Mid range carbine. All right, let's get that. No excuse for cowardice. That's pretty harsh. Oh my god. Tyranids have been busy. fan of the bolt carbine. It's a bit slow to reload, but... That's good. Get wrecked. Got quite a small magazine capacity as well. Oh, I got no grenades, that's annoying. Gonna chew through ammo pretty quick with this though. This is Lieutenant Titus. Identify yourself. Captain Hyden, sir. Our long range comms were damaged in battle. They must be close. Hold fast, Captain. We are coming. We are coming. but I could really do with some ammo. I'm getting swarmed. Damn. Let's get my armor back. Thank you very much. Here, I'm pretty sure, wasn't there? Loading up. Stuck behind the crate. <clears throat> Not now. Beauty. God, I love the heavy bolt pistol. 
think it's my favourite weapon in the game, eh? Look at the animation when he reloads it, if I'm zoomed in. Pretty sure I saw some ammo there. Let's see. Thank you. Survive that just in time. Stim, good, good. Let's go over there. Yeah, I've done that. Uh, where's the door? Oh, over there. Okay. So here. Okay, let's go. The attention to detail on the levels is insanely good. I did. I thought him lost. We are approaching his position now. Can you patch me through? Working on it. These boys have done pretty well. Clearly made quite a bit of a less stand. I love the way the guardsmen react. Let's go. Gonna have to go and take care of that gate. Beautiful. Love it. Just literally walking up a mountain of dead Tyranids. I think the Cadians have done pretty well actually. Bump on a bug. Oh. 
That was another pretty good time in to get an execution. Would have been in trouble then without that. MOKH, okay, nice. Wouldn't mind swapping this bolter for something else, if I'm honest. Uh, what have we got there? Auto bolt rifle. Yeah, I think we'll go with an auto bolt rifle. So the plan is we're going to do the rest of this mission. Move to link up with the Cadians. As you command, Lieutenant. And then we are going to jump off for a few seconds because I'm going to actually switch my streaming software from Streamlabs to regular OBS. The, the main feature that I started using Streamlabs for, which is the remote control, doesn't particularly help us because we can't see our chat. I can only see my chat on my phone, which is very, very much no good. Damn it! One of those grenades! I keep forgetting about this ability. Stay away from my Imperial Guard chums. Okay? you got in mind, buddy? I think I know. But... The boom coming up. Nice. Oh, well, I said nice. We've got to take out the zone throat. That is bad news. Oh, should dodge that. Jeez, we're getting wrecked. Damage? Still some left. Good work, brothers. Major, we have retaken the facility. Praise the Emperor. Praise the Emperor.
Nice. It's getting a bit warm in my uh, streaming room here. Powerful collective intelligence. Not to be underestimated. Major, the guns are in a zero state of charge. It will take time to wake the machine spirit. Hurry! The Tyranids will throw everything they have at this facility. This is Major Sarkana. Divert second and third platoon to the orbital guns immediately. Copy that, sir. Let's show these bastards what the eight are made of! <laughs> Here comes the Cadians, reinforcements. It's good that I checked that. Because it hadn't picked up the game audio. Naughty, naughty. Okay, let's carry on. Look at that. Oh my goodness me, look at that. Major, we need to establish a perimeter. My troops are in defensive positions. They'll hold. The enemy will try to scale these walls. Do not let them. I'll get the bolt rifle with the grenade launcher. Yep. Push them back. Push them back, brothers. Here they come. They're gonna... Oh, here they come. Damn, I might have, might have clicked the message a bit too quick about how to fire a grenade from the grenade launcher. Click the right stick. That worked. Did the job. Oh, here they come again. Sorry, Cadians, we're going to leave you to that one. I've noticed every single door in the Imperium has got the same code to get in. If you ever find yourself needing to go through. Six to... Hash? I know. I don't know. Assist where possible, but do not linger. Do not linger. Oh, 
I'm filled. A bit bad if we don't sort of help out with every... Presuming we're going this way, are we? No. That way, down that way. Okay. That's another really cool addition from the first game, is the... You can tap the options button. Thank you, Cadians. What have we got? Auto bolt rifle, I think we'll get that. Yeah, that's another quality of life improvement. The three things I wanted from the first game to be fixed was long, boring corridors with nothing happening. They fixed that. Getting lost. They fixed that. And iframes while you're doing finisher animations. Let them come. Let them come. So we got to do all four of these, okay? Take out those mines. One down. Others, if you can protect me while I do this, that would be very lovely. Lovely. Med stems. Cute. Nice. All right, let's do this one. Get it going. See what I mean about, like, it is just pure spectacle. What's shooting me there? Oh, someone's screaming. Damn! Got you. Got you. Minor gripe about the game is the way they leave you to finish off the enemies sometimes, like they shouldn't do it all the time. Now and again, it's cool. Well done, Chiron. Thank you, brother. Got these assets, bitten ones. Uh, oh, that was a mistake. I meant to hit the uh, button to use my combat stim. Can do this, brothers. Are we? Are we? All right. Let's go and defend the antennas. Antennae? Oh, don't do that! What are you doing, Chiron? Oi! It's naughty. Throwing frag grenades without my permission. Jeez.
Ah, uh, okay. Antenna A. Antenna C there. There's Antenna B down there. Okay, I don't think you have to aim specifically for each one. I think if you just shoot in the general. here we must hold them back yeah. where's the other one up here Just do that, but I really need. Where's my Battle Brothers? So they are not doing a very good job of defending me at all. Where are they? Oh, they've disappeared somewhere. Oh, frustrating. Need you to stick with me, fellows. Okay, maybe we'll go bolt rifle again. Just need, like, ammo. Oh yeah, that works pretty well. The enemy have damaged the antenna! The enemy are going for the antenna! 
I know they are. I know they are. I know they are. Problem is, again, where's Gadriel and Chiron? Where have they gone? Okay, I think they're now with me, but I need ammo. The enemy have damaged the antenna. Yep. We must hold them back. Gotta go and clap, clap some tear in your cheeks, people. Gotta watch out for the Zanthropes. Two of them. And get through, get through. Execution, execution. Ah, oh, what? Which one? Oh, baby, start from the beginning. Oh, man. Seriously, right, this is definitely the way to go, though. The hell's them? the mines. Yes, yes, I know they have. God, just die, will ya? And 
Antenna D, which one is that? That's around here. Where's that coming from? Damn it, no. Stupid, 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 come on. Should stun the other ones. When you kill a synapse creature, you stun. Stun the uh, the smaller creatures. Let's get that. That was tough. I'm actually sweating. It's crazy. Sucker Tash. That was sexy. Did well. Did very well. This is only normal difficulty. Imagine if it playing it on like the hardest difficulty that would be insane. What makes it difficult is when you get swarmed. Like ironically. Kind of makes sense. But when you get swarmed by lots of enemies and those acid spitting ones. Well it's not acid actually. I think it's um they fire like little Baroa creature things. Barb. No, not Barb Gaunts, but yeah. Lieutenant, Captain Akaran has new orders for you. Very well. Where is Elian? The enemy tried to smother us. We got separated. By the time we had slain the attackers, Elian was dead. Something Damn. put a hole clean through his helmet. I should have been with you. I only wish he had lived to see that hive ship burn. I fought beside Elian for two decades. He could not have been defeated by Hormigans. There are creatures more deadly than Hormigans down there. You should not have let our squad be divided. He is gone, Sergeant. Duty is all. I do not forget my brothers so quickly. Look 
that dreadnought. Valius. Nice. So since the last game, the Primarch of the Ultramarines, Rubute Gilliman, has come back. I was informed to arrive with Lord Kalga. And he's now Lord Commander of the Imperium. I've read through those battle reports more than a hundred times. A masterful defense. My duty kept me busy elsewhere. You have an unusual service record. That is my good fortune. Is it my good fortune? Oh, recon in that position. Captain, get over here. Captain, I have the Mechanicus on Vox. They can wait. This is Nozick Beta 12, the Mechanicus Archmagos. He should have been aboard this ship an hour ago, but he refuses to leave Kadaku without... Nozick Beta, Beta 12, okay. He's currently in this Imperial Guard base. His facility is here. The enemy is closing in. That base will be overrun imminently. Nozick is a high value asset. Get that data and get him out. The mining facility. If we rupture the staging tanks, direct the flow into the valley. We can ignite the fields around the base. Boil them in Prometheum. Yeah. I'll give you command of a small team to hit the staging tanks. Three men. That's all I can spare. Brief them immediately. Let's go. So now, because we finished that first one, we've got access to operations. Titus Delirium, make ready to depart. Standing by. Which um, they're like little side missions, and you can take your customized character to go and do them. Lieutenant Titus. We are told you have need of us, brother. My squad must recover data from a Mechanicus research facility in... It's a very cool little mechanic. A large enemy swarm threatens to overrun both that facility and an Imperial Guard base to its east. You will sabotage a Prometheum refinery to delay their advance. We will not fail you, Lieutenant. Let us burn the Xenos filth. Time is short. I will brief you on descent. Brother, Mago Scalio wishes to see you in the armory. Noted. Okay, let's go and see Mago Scalio. So we won't do the operations now. We're not going to do the operations because uh, it's kind of like a playlist thing and it can actually jump you ahead of where you are at in the campaign. And that could cause spoilers. I have pressing duties, Magos. Very well. Engage the armory terminal. I will see that you are suitably equipped for your mission. Indicate your desired war gear, and the armoring station will handle the outfitting procedure. Though much has changed since we last met, all this will remain familiar to you. The Omnisire blessed us with clear sightedness from the beginning. We offer blessings to this machine. We want bolt the rifle, auto bolt rifle, melter rifle, oculus bolt carbine, bolt carbine. So there's some that we can't get yet. Like, I love that one, that one wrecks, but I think we'll just stay with Bolt Rifle. But we'll go with... I really, I'm really not a fan of plasma weapons. I like the heavy bolt. Bolt weapon, and then... Later on we've got Thunder Hammer and Power Sword. Can oh yeah, because normally it looks like that, but 
I got the um, McCraig's Chosen Pack DLC. The war gear selection seems incomplete. This armory is comprehensive, but available options are those recommended for the current mission. Very well. My thanks, Magos. Galio will suffice. Hey, brothers, let's go. Yeah, 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 I love the redesigned Primaris Chaplains. I've got one in my Crimson Fist army and they're just they just look awesome. Like the black leather like trench coat thing. Right. We're not gonna do operations. I can say too too many spoilers. I've uploaded a video of me doing the the operation that they talk about for this bit with the Promethean. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Alright, we'll do another 10 minutes or so. I do love Edmech. They're so interesting, such an interesting faction. The Emperor protects. The Emperor protects. Damn straight. Out Space Marines making jokes. One of the characters in the Horus Heresy novel novels, uh, Kirill Sindeman. <clears throat> Is it him who makes the comment about how uh, Space Marines absolutely honk? They're like, they're sweaty boys. But when you think about they're encased in. We are being hunted. We are being hunted. They're encased in that power armor. They must burn through. Like their metabolisms must be insane. They must burn through like an insane amount of calories. This is the work of a lictor. Sergeant Gadriel to resilient. Two of our brothers have fallen in battle. Send an apothecary. Received. We shall honor them, Brother Sergeant. Um, yeah, they must burn through, like... Can you imagine how many calories 
like with their metabolism, they're like Michael Phelps times a thousand. They could basically eat whatever they wanted all of the time. Imagine, oh, I'm so jealous. slow down that's all those like slimy particle effects that's what's causing that so as soon as I'm not looking at them we're good uh oh I'm in big trouble here and I have no combat stims Completely isolated. Here comes Chiron to save the day. Good on you, buddy. Go. We're going the right way, yep. Or dead ultramarines. When you think there's only a thousand ultramarines, every single one of these is a tragedy. Relics are handy because now I get it's basically an extra life. Which is good. Trouble. Got to make a lot more use of combat stims, and I've got to start using my um, special ability a lot more. I keep forgetting to use it. shooting it. Right, yeah. Crack grenades. Crack grenades are pretty handy actually if you hit one of the big Big fellas with a crack grenade. You do some damage. It's good. All right, stalker bolt rifle. Fine gift from the forge. Yeah. Crack grenades stick to enemies and cause significant damage. Snipers, watch your sight lines. Nice. 
Oh, big hole in the ground there. Got to watch out for that. Gotta hate these acid boys, eh? Be a damn thing now. Okay, brothers, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Get some ammunition. God awful stalker bolter. Auto bolt rifle, oculus bolt carbine. Let's get that. This will serve me well. Oh yeah, heavy bolter. Boom. Oops, team assemble. Let's go. Come on, fighting. Who's fighting? It sounds close. Oh, Imperial Guard or Astra Militarum, as they are now called for copyright reasons. The... I can't do it because I've got a heavy bolter. Now I can. A lot of turnips. to be struggling a little bit then to pick up the headshot. Alright, that went well. Thank you, by the way. It was an honor. Report to Major Sarkana at once. Yes, my lord. Major Sarkana, this is Sergeant Byron. My unit has suffered heavy casualties. Received support from Adeptus Astartes. Byron, hold your position. I'm sending a Valkyrie to pick you up. Yes, sir. One thing I would sort of like to know is whether because in most militaries when you're referring to a By what evidence? a female you call them mom not sir. I suspect they probably sort of put in a placeholder character until they'd figured out who they wanted the Cadian Major to be. And maybe it was just too much effort to go back this and re-record the dialogue. Come and taste death, vermin. That's my suspicion.
It's like the Predator. It's cool. Do you remember that? Alright. Lictor. Face me, coward. Is it or is it? Is it? Go. How do we tell where it went? And not doing a lot of damage to it. Looked like it went that way. Like surround sound headphones on. It's still a bit tricky. Ah, oh, there, there, it jumps onto that wall. sure it went up there, didn't it? Gosh, we're not not getting very far very fast against it. Uh, why can't the dudes help me? Oh man. I got it. No, I don't have a stem. Damn it. Is there any line around? Yes. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm not good at doing this. I'm old man with terrible reflexes. I do not want to be going toe to toe with a bloody. Ah! Sorry, right, I've got the guardian thing. It's alright. This is not easy, but. Luckily, we had the guardian. Right, I need to. Lock onto it. That was tough. Major Sarkana, you were correct. There was a lictor out here. 
I suspect you have already dealt with it. Indeed. Yeah, I have. Very good, my lord. Munition secured. Is a capable foe. A welcome challenge. Welcome challenge. I fear we would have joined Cordanus and Septimus. Perhaps they faced more than one. No. Lictors hunt alone. Lictors always hunt alone. The facility is in ruin. Let us hope knows its research remains intact. Archmagos, we have arrived. Tyranids have been here already. Oh, yes, they have. Damn, sniper Tyranid. Is that sniper one must be up at others, isn't it? Oh, okay. I think I know what we're going to have to do here. How good does this game look? Sorry, but it is insanely stunning. Love PD games. Clean beans. It is, isn't it? Isn't it stunningly beautiful? I've got it running on uh, DLSS quality mode. It's actually running really, really nicely. I thought with streaming, I might have to drop it down to like balanced or performance mode, but it seems to be holding up okay. We had a little bit of slowdown a few minutes ago. Drop frames when we had a lot going on but apart from that it's been rock solid thank you for stopping by it's been a bit of a quiet one tonight I was thinking that um, maybe people who haven't already watched it a few days ago are the people who are waiting for tomorrow to actually buy it and play it tomorrow Thanks, Decimus. Brother, they got inside. Oh no, another dead it ultramarine. This pyro blaster will serve us well against rippers. Gadriel to resilient. Brother Decius has fallen. Received. That's a Decius. That was the one who was back on board the other ship getting getting told to grab a pyre blaster. Oops. These guys, little troublemakers. Do biomass. Okay. Up here. Medical stims, thank you very much. I'll grab those. Drone. 
There must be thousands. That door looks like our exit. Look at that. It's so impressive. Might want to watch out there, buddy. I, uh, when I got Leviathan, I thought the Higher Blaster would, would be like, um, almost like firing, like, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but like, blobs of flame. I didn't think it was just the Primaris version of a flamethrower. So it's interesting seeing in the game that actually, no, it is like just the Primaris version of a flamethrower. To know it works against. Does it work against these dudes particularly well? Uh oh. I really need an assist here, boys. I'm getting. Yeah, I could have done with an assist there from my AI squad mates. Thanks for nothing. Because I can't. Ah, oh, I was just about to use my stim. Damn you. They can just take care of the. The rivers. They retreat. Disoriented by the synaptic shock. Ah, oh, I was just about to use my stim. Let's go. It's annoying. Oh well. Oh well. Chains board. I've already got one of those. Thank you very much. Ooh, gross. Look at that. Busy with something. They gather biomass. Humans. Dissolved and collected later. By feeding tubes lowered from orbit. Yuck. Vile. The sooner we exterminate these horrors, the better. Absolutely, A. Eh? Um, who was it? Was it Luton or someone did a really cool video on like, you know, the Tyranids must have evolved from somewhere, you know, like they, they would have started off on a planet as a, as a single kind of species kind of thing and um, expanded off into space. Kind of crazy when you think about it like that. Heavy bolt pistol? Yeah, sure. Pretty sure I already got one of those, but whatever. 
Um, grenades would be nice. Oh, ask the Emperor and he shall deliver, brothers. These are useless with the Pyre Blast though. I don't know if it's just my timing's gone to crap or what. Higher blaster, thank you very much. I'm going to regret this because I can't remember if we face all rippers through here. Cannot recall. Luckily, the Emperor provides. Resupply. It's very cool. It reminds me of um, a plague tale with the rats. I suspect they have been inspired by that. For the Primark! I gotta get the execution off or I'm dead. Where's the zone throat? Oh, it's up there. Oh no! You forced me back into these bad boys. Rippers make it really hard to dodge. Uh, better get back up. Get back up. Back, 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 back. Oh my god.
Oh uh, yeah, they've completed their operation. That's good. Yes, swarm annihilation confirmed. I do have a video, not that I'm telling you to go and watch other videos, but I do have a video where I did that operation. Thank you. That was that was tough. I love the reload animation with the pistol if you're aiming. Bolt rifle with grenade launcher. Yeah. Well. Big fan of this weapon. Right, this way. Lot of corpses. Since I brought death from above. Death from Jeez, above. Done, brother. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Gee, I wonder if we'll get to use that at some point. We have reached the transmitter. Analysis. Efficiency level below expectations. Here we go. As well. Nope. Fire blaster. What have I got? I got. Down we go into this massive horde of these things. I legit cannot wait to play this co-op. Imagine doing this campaign co-op. That is going to be peak gaming. The heat in a little bit. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, I didn't press parry in time. I'm in trouble. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this, I can imagine you would have had to name this, but it's uh, pretty intense. I need to get out of the... No, poisoned. Too late. They are pulling back. Be prepared for their next attack. I don't know if it's kind of even worth cooking them. Probably is, isn't it? Gotta get to that next generator, boys. Resupply. I'd love a few more grenades. I'd love a stim pack. Didn't want to use this, but I keep forgetting to use it. Oh, you had to drop the difficulty. I did on my first playthrough too, I dropped it down to uh, easy <laughs> from normal because I couldn't do the bit with the antennas when I first played it. I kept uh, failing to protect the antennas. But then I figured out using the grenade launcher gun. 
pretty much makes that quite trivial. Or not trivial, but a lot easier. In co-op mode, you'd be able to get like two of you to handle the big guys, while the other one handles the rippers, and that would be like a very, very cool way to play this game. Still don't have crack grenades, what? No, they're really not, eh? Hey? Get out of it. I don't even know where they've gone. Where are they? Oh, they're back. Like, they're more useful than ones, your companions in the first game, but... Nice. What are we going to do now? But yeah, I think co-op would be extremely oh, yeah. cool. Especially with like full voice chat and you could coordinate. Me and a friend of mine years ago we played through all the Gears of War games in co-op and it was so good. It was one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had. And I mean I, I think this game's phenomenal in single player. Imagine it in co-op. Oh. Have you played any of the operations yet? Have you found the performance on PlayStation? Digital Foundry was saying it, it could drop a little bit during those big swarm sections, but I was wondering if that's like they were playing a version before the day one patch. No problems? Good. That is good to know. I'm moving from New Zealand. In a few months, and I'm going to have to sell my computer because I can't take it with me. And I was thinking about when I get overseas, I'm going to buy a PlayStation just to see me through. And I'm going to want to play this. Oh, damn! Thank you, thank you. It's quite a while. It's quite a while yet. A couple of months away, but relocating to the other side of the world. Get to use jump packs. Nice. 
guys. The Tyranids will swarm the crest. If Nozick is still alive, his time is limited. Our brothers aboard that Thunderhawk will make quick work of the Tyranids. I hope they survived. I love these jump pack sections. In the first game, I loved it when you had the jump pack and the thunder hammer. We are at war. Death waits for all of us. There is a. thing over there which I didn't see. Cool little mechanic, eh? Oculus bolt carbine or bolt pistol. I'm good with what I've got, thanks. Goodoosh. Pretty sure I just did that the most awkward way possible. Ground pound, let's go. Nice. I just like basically jumped on the spawn point then. I don't know if I helped myself very much there. Is he gone? He's gone up there. Okay, we'll go that way too. Love it. Good in time. Oh, so good. Is there anything more 40k than a chainsaw? Like, okay, maybe a bolter, but. Carried away then with me melees. Love that animation. Oh, nope. I didn't mind. No, come on. That's it. Thank you very much. Those acid spitting ones really do wreck ya. I'm coming, boom! Get wrecked. Good, 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 good work. Oh, yes, please. Stored biomass. 
Do yuck. Damn sniper, sniper, sniper. Oh, it's a bit like that, is it? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Engaging process. Casinos protect their hive. Stop at nothing. We must reach the crash site. Damn that thing. What is it? It's like a, like a so mind true. bolt. Where is it? Oh, it's there. messes with my parry time when I'm getting shot at as I do close combat. Right, okay. What have we got here that could help? Auto bolt rifle, plasma, oculus bolt carbine, sure. Love it. Right. Oh. Something just absolutely pinged me. What was that? from all the way over the other side of the map. Come on, AI companions. Uh-oh. This happened to me the other day. They didn't come and save me. They're not coming to save me. Thanks for the sub. Damn, we died because they just decided not to come and save me. That sucks. Why did they not come and save me? The other day it was because they'd actually like fallen through the ground. Oh, that was not great. 
Right. Boys, can we can we like stick together? Maybe I don't know if it will work, but maybe the trick is that we take out the snipery ones first. Kind of hoping that might help a bit. Oh, right, dude. Hey, don't tell me we got no time when it was you boys who decided not to come and save me when we only had one more charge to put down. All right. Because that was a dick move. Oh, didums. I'm sure it does, but also. Oh, we did have a combat stim. Excellent. Let's try this again. I'd love iframes on this bit. Please. Thank you, this is... I feel like we should get iframes when we're Explosive ready. Where's the where's the goo being fired from? I don't know where it's being fired from. Alt rifle with a grenade launcher, sure. grenade that guy okay that's probably helped us quite a bit actually who are these super accurate Tyranids, like crazy, crazy accurate Tyranids.
Right, where's the last one? Gotta go down there. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. That biomass gone. Oh, it's me. I don't want to reload. Let's detonate. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. This isn't good. Good at all. I would go as far as to say Chaos. very bad. Sweep the area. Imarath. Brother, I'm fine. It must be the Rubicon surgery. I don't know if he is fine. Indeedy. Imarath. Can't be having any of that warp tainted. Heresy stuff going on. Got to set it on fire. Doesn't look good, does it? The captain is withholding something. Akaran will not deceive us, Gadriel. Then where did Dimitri and Titus serve previously? Why is he back in battle so soon after such grievous surgery? Sergeant Venti had spoke of a Death Watch team that deployed a virus. Lieutenant. Brother, are you recovered? I am. The apothecary should run a diagnostic. I do not have the need nor the time for such a process. Magos Gallio also expressed his concern. Consider his counsel, if not ours. If there is any risk of recurrence, it puts the whole squad in jeopardy. It can wait. I must speak with Captain Akaran. As you command. Brother, that is a relief. 
left to see you on your feet. Heard you took a turn for the worse. Such reports were exaggerated. I am glad to hear it. Your efforts in delaying the swarm were out of such a It was a sight to behold. I must report to Agaran. Excuse me. The Emperor protects. Was that truly the work of the Arch Enemy? It was not clear to you. It may have been only a handful of fanatics. A handful of cultists could not bring down a Thunderhawk. He is right. The Arch Enemy is here. They chose to reveal their presence. There must have been a reason they wanted Nozick dead. Damnation happened down there. Nozick was assassinated. The Adeptus Mechanicus report said engine failure. That's not what I saw. Sergeant. Traitors. Chaos. You're sure? No mistaking it, sir. Clear the bridge! Nozick was head of a highly classified project. Aurora. What is it? A weapon. And the minions of Chaos learned of its existence. With Nozick dead, there's only one man capable of continuing the work. Morius Luz. Nozick's apprentice. He is currently missing. His last known location was a Mechanicus facility on Avarax. One that is now overrun with Tyranids. This will get you into the cogitator within the facility. You can access Luz's tracker from there. We are on course to Avarax now. I want you ready the second we enter orbit. Sir. What was on the ship with Nozick? What concern is it of yours? The Mechanicus seemed eager to retrieve it. And yet the enemy left it untouched. Whatever it is, without Luz, it's useless to us. Lieutenant, the journey to Avarax will take time. Enough for a brief diagnostic. Very well, if it will put you at ease. Megas Galio will be in the armory. effect of the surgery. I am fully recovered. Sergeant Gadriel, I trust that you will be close at hand should your brother suffer any further episodes. 
Yes, Brother Chaplain. If the arch enemy is indeed present, any weakness could grow into a cancer of the soul. Bind yourself to the pages of the Codex, and it will shield you from the glare of heresy. My faith is without compromise. I will not waver. It was brief. Likely a result of the surgery. You suffered catastrophic damage to a number of primary organs at the hand of that carnifex. While in that state, you underwent radical surgery. Your body was ripped open from head to foot. If some error was made and remains undetected, it could cost you your life. Brother. We cannot afford another episode like that. The apothecaries may not have time for a thorough diagnostic, but they've given me their sanction to do so. Now settle in. This will take time.
Scott. I'll need we repair the elevator. Operation without full repair is unwise. You may override safety protocols via the control room at your own risk. Up there! Looks like the control room! The main entrance is destroyed. I found an alternate route. Got it now. Check on display. Observe this location. Engines here. The cogitator has remained idle for three hours. Please resume your defined functions. Through that door. Warning. All this destruction. Another tyranid in sight. Closed. They're here. Watching. will make ruin of the entire city given the chance.
the objective. Gears are grinding like an old contraption. Okay, because I was recording video footage on my laptop earlier, we've actually skipped ahead. We kind of fought our way up from down there to up here, so we haven't done too much. Here they come. Oh, I forgot about Sniper Guy. Take him out. Nice. Oh no, there's another one. Clear out this little... Hey, this is what I'm talking about, right? We need to use fury! What the Emperor! Got the skadooshin time. Get there. Charge. Thank you. Thank you. We may now cross the bridge. Proceed to the objective. Let's proceed to the objective. Sir, you seem to be at full strength again. Yes. Did the apothecaries identify the cause of your collapse? Focus on the mission, Sergeant. As you wish, my lord. Niki. Ciao, Gadriel. I hope that means there's something worth. I thought there might have been one of those little skulls with the messages in. But nope, this was just another way we could have come in. Oh, my nose, man. It's wrecked. I've taken some Sudafed. I'm hoping they'll get us through, like, be able to stream for about an hour before they start to wear off and then might go and cry in a corner for a bit. Right, that if we can do a mission per night, Use that's good. Did that work? Let's get down there. Practical. Yep. There's a shortcut across the rooftops to the east. Good. Proceed. Let's go. So, <clears throat> when Dan Abnett wrote No No Fear, which is a, a novel about the attack on Kalf by the word bearers during the Horus Heresy, he introduced this really cool uh, little concept uh, of how, like, Ultramarines talk to each other. Do I want the sniper? Yeah, we'll be a sniper for a little bit. And so they have this thing of like theory and practical. So when they're like discussing a plan, they'll talk about the theory first and then they'll be like, okay, what's our practical? So that's what they do in this game. It's very, very cool. Very law friendly. 
I was saying to um, someone I'm, I follow on Instagram, I've I've never been a like a big Ultramarines guy. With pleasure. Damn it. Yes. Oh, crap. Crap over. Alright. Two can play at sniping. Yeah. Oh, Good week. Um, yeah, I've never been a big Ultramarines guy, and then... We didn't know no fear, and then... And then playing this game, now I'm total Ultramarines guy. Like, to the point where if my wife asks me a question, I'm like, Courage and honor! Don't want to get caught up in that green goo. Need to take out this dude. Oh, get out of it. How did he get over here? I hope you can't see that on stream. That's gross. Let's get some frag grenades. <laughs> oh, I hate having a cold, man. I hate having a cold. I took today off work sick because it wasn't happening and I wasn't going to stream tonight. And then I found some Sudafed in my medicine cabinet. cabinet. Ready to deploy special tactics. And I was like, yeah, that will get us through enough time to get a mission done. If we're lucky, we might also have a little play around with the... Uh, we'll have a little play around with... Maybe like operations or something? If, if it comes back online and we can... Do some customization, unlock some things. I've got a cool Crimson Fist. Eliminator. You wish for me to humiliate you again, brother. Oh, you it's a Ravenna. Ravenna killed. How'd I manage to get green good though? That's annoying. I love these um, pods that the Tyranids come down in. Well, there's a lot of biomass. A lot of biomass. Let's go up this big gigantic lift. Anyone who saw my Space Marine stream, one thing they know how to do in the Imperium is they make very good lifts. <laughs> Auto bolt rifle. Oh yeah. Oh no. Actually, I love the heavy bolt rifle. I prefer not to discuss it. At least you made it out alive, which is more than we can say for the Orcs. Oh, here come gargoyles. Luckily, there's only about 10,000 million of them. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? They're going to do something. Aren't they? They're going to do something. Oh. 
Cunning little Xenos. I don't have the grenade launcher this time. Did we get him? Oh, we did. Oh, my dodge did not work. Not dodge, even. Nice. Oh. Get wrecked. Yeah, no, 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 no. I think we defended it successfully. There's not many games on PC that are just so satisfying with a hand controller compared to a keyboard and mouse, but this is without doubt one of them. should scatter these yes so when their eyes are glowing red they're like getting morale from a synapse creature like a bigger creature than they are uh, we need ammo we need ammo that's another mechanic it doesn't typically explain very well to you but they're getting they're getting their morale from the synapse creature so if you can if you can take out the synapse creature you can make all those enemies pretty much die so you have to make the decision about whether you want to take the hits from the smaller ones and you focus your fury on the big guy like these guys their eyes aren't glowing so if I kill the the synapse creature they're not gonna die these ones I think we're okay I think yeah that was good I did love the heavy bolt rifle but we'll just get the regular bolt rifle munition secured like every gun in this game is good and satisfying to use, which is boomy, boomy. Paid for early access, and all I got was this bolter. I could have paid like another thirty dollars and got some other crazy DLC stuff but I was like nah I'm good main loading bay 30 minutes later excuse me one moment gross sorry got a cold <sighs> a lot of biomass there we'll need explosives nothing's getting through that door Ventilation tunnels? Checking. One floor down. Let's go. Let's go. Word, 
written in blood on Nozick Thunderhawk. Imura. Do not speak it, brother. The words of the arch enemy hold dangerous power. Imura. One should not dismiss any data that may it's be probably as they ventilation have tunnels, faith, he said. Enemy, Regrettably, I have not. Then I suggest you listen to your brother. If the arch enemy is involved, might we not encounter them here? I hope we do. I wish to have words with those traitors. Oh, Chiron. Gracious at the thought of them. They'll be counting on your hatred. Be sure they don't use it against you. Chiron's angry. Down here. The Adeptus Mechanicus put up a fight here. Sure did. I love Edmic. I love the design. The aesthetic is so cool. Those vile creatures take every crevice. How far to the cogitator? With no direct route. But take longer than I'd like. Cogitator, I love it. I love that word. I'm playing this game on my cogitator. I have said the required prayers. They're plotting something. What plotting could these insects be capable of? These are mere drones. Set the D4. A worthy adversary. Worthy adversary. Yucky biomass. Why do I feel like we're about to encounter rippers? Usually if there's a pyre blaster, there's rippers. Our path is through this locked door. Look for a nearby access terminal. Done that already. The reset of the system should work. Oh. Gotta turn it off and on again. Okay. Melter rifle. Close range thermal weapon. We've used the pyre blaster before. Let's use the melter rifle. IT department, have you turned it off and on again? What happened? Power's down. Must Hold be Hold on to your butts. Listen, there are the walls. Where are the goddamn walls? They're coming. Watch your back. Here they come. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Uh, this is extremely uh, graphically awesome. Oh, it's a Revenant, I think. Is it? Is it a Revenant? Oh no, it's a Lictor. Where is it? Oh, that was lucky. The Lictor is dead. Dead. And I almost was if I hadn't remembered at the last second that I had my. I want my bolt rifle back. If I hadn't remembered at the last second that I had a. a stim. I would have died. And the Emperor would have been displeased. I wonder what the code is. Almost Always the same the code. Up, then we're at the data banks. Six two hash. Like heavy resistance. They wish to interfere with our objective. Our objective is of no concern to them. If we could have killed them. Kill Maybe a. Eh? Hmm. 
What have we got here? What delights? Oculus bolt carbine in the melter. Full ammo. This is like a server farm in 40k land. Go. That might be a kind of fix. It is. Oh damn! Double whammo. Oh my God! Reload, Titus. Loading thing is something that they've changed because oh, hello, fellas. Up there and there. Oh, and there. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Keep messing up there. I kill this. Oh crap. Don't die. Don't die this late on. Special tactics ready. There we go. Yeah, special tactics ready. Did it work? I think it's gonna yes it did. Let's say we killed me in the intro, but we're not falling for that this time. Oh, ow. Splatto. I have slain the Carnifex. Rip its back off. <laughs> I got a beast of that statue enough for more sport. Oh, Kyron, buddy. Please. So the Carnifex alone. But nothing but a bomb fist. That was sport. Well, I am glad to Crack grenades are good. They stick to uh, enemies. They would have been handy in that fight, but I didn't pick them up. One of these shot grenades. Now we'll stick with the crack grenades for now. Apparently not. It's this or nothing. I would have liked another Stimpak thing, that would have been good. Yes, and we go this way, yep. Yeah. 
surge could justify such a waste of human life. It does not surprise me. Edmake has not so done very well. Monsters of themselves. See, that's where crack grenades really good because it attaches to the. to the big beds. very useful. Through there, no, nope. we go down here. Look at that, it's got a little candle. They're just passing. Xenos, they have us boxed in. Get in. Not dunno, will they? That went pretty well, actually. It went way better. Corridor cleared for transit. Advanced by the Omnisire's will. Advanced by the Omnisire's will. Thank you, Skull friend. Restocking. So you take a heavy board. bolt pistol. I love the heavy bolt pistol. One of my favourite weapons in the game. I think I've said that already. But. Just to reiterate, I love the heavy bolt pistol. Assemble. News to assemble. No sign of the arch enemy. Maybe they've been and gone. Maybe oh, if you keep talking about them, they're gonna show up. You know that, don't you? They're like Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. As I am taught to do by the Codex Astartes. Oh, 40k bingo, Codex Astartes. You said it, Gadriel, you nerd. Let's hope the machine spirit has it under control. A meltdown will be catastrophic. We'll disable it once we have the data. On interesting little technical phenomenon, I'd love to know if anyone else can back this up, but I find the game runs smoother on the quality DLSS preset than on any of the others, like performance, even um, balanced. Ultra performance, it runs really smooth, but it looks like mush. Pray to the machine spirit. This is what I do every time I turn my computer on. Light a candle. I awaken. Lieutenant Titus, Ultramarine, second company. Enter your oh, that's not going to make the stream highlights. I lit the candle and everything. Access rights granted. Establishing locus. City, Temple of Thassian. Vitals are elevated. Our box for a Thunderhawk. Wait. Open file project, Aurora. Register intention requisition. Open the file. Object Aurora. Raya. Drogon. Open file reconstruction. Brother, those are classified. No. It was destroyed. Idiots. They're trying to use warp crystal. Contained within a Gela field. A Gela field is what? 
wraps around the spaceship and stops the uh, spaceship being torn apart in the warp. Warning. Ah, oh, damn it. This whole place will collapse onto the city beneath us. Get them off the core. Tyramids are piling themselves into the core. It's pretty intelligent of them to know that. Pretty intelligent of them to know that. That's a good idea for them. Of course it is. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Power swords are cool, but they're not chain sword cool. I think, like, chainsaws are just so synonymous with Warhammer 40,000, aren't they? Heavy bolt rifle. Oh, yeah. Oh, here they come. Oh man, I thought I pressed the button in time. This is quite a lot of them. Gotta balance defending the thing with not getting ourselves killed, you know. Get off me, horny gint. Done with the stim pack, really. How many pylons remain engaged? One Volkai pylon maintains the reactor. One more. Disengaging. Unable to comply. Temperatures have fused from both circuits. Manual intervention required. Drone damage. They are making a 
This swarm mechanic thing is just ridiculously cool. Ah, oh, where'd he come from? This is the synapse creature, there's glowing red eyes. And the synapse creature. Oh, zone throw. Ah, oh, man, it got me. Damn it. Right, let's go and rip this one apart and get ourselves a. Where is it? Where is it? It's still there. Get out of here! Sounds bad. We could. Entropic decay sounded pretty serious, like. No. We don't want that to happen. But. We have what we came for. Move to the extraction zone. It's all good, eh? It's all good. Got through a mission, brothers. One more step towards defeating the high fleet. Ultramarines have got a special grudge when it comes to Tyranids. Their entire first company was pretty much wiped out by the very first High Fleet Kraken. When it hit McCrag, their homeworld. So, yeah, Ultramarines and Tyranids are not friends. Lieutenant, what did you see in those Mechanicus files? A record of extreme foolishness. Explain. You may direct that request to our captain. All right, you got some explaining to do, Captain. A minute. The Adeptus Mechanicus must be stopped. What? If they trigger the weapon, the results could be catastrophic. Suddenly an expert on Mechanicus research. They're using an artifact to power the weapon. I've seen it before, on a planet named Grya. 
A traitor by the name of Nemroth called it a fragment of the Dark God's power that almost destroyed the planet. Raya. Titus. The Mechanicus are acting on orders approved by the Primarch. And here are you, talking of Graia, of all places. Yes. The captain of Chaos is here if they get their hands on us. I think Robute Gilliman I will hear no approves more on the this. Subject. Seems odd. No. He probably hadn't played the first game. <laughs> then get down there and find him. There are those who would see you sent back to the Inquisition. Tread carefully, brother. It sounded like a threat, didn't it? Not particularly thinly veiled either, just pretty much a threat. We are going to take a break in a moment. Planetary defense forces have been reassigned. Damn them. After everything that happened. Brother, do not keep us in the dark. It is not your concern. You criticize the captain for withholding intelligence. And yet you treat us to the same evasive obscurity. It's got a point. Stray words have cost me dearly. So you do not trust us? Brothers, calm yourselves. Lest you face the chaplain's censure. So good looking this game. So good looking. Oh, that's not good. You can do it. Oh, good landing. God, those guys were pretty calm. Of the little servo skulls buzzing around it. The attention to detail on this game is stupidly high. Did you see that emergency landing earlier? Never have I seen a Thunderhawk return in such fashion. See it? I had to extinguish it. The heat mounted the servitor on duty before it even realized it was in danger. Thrown? What about the crew? The Astartes. They disembarked through the flames without hastening a single step. Is the badass that's why these are chapter thralls very often they're people who failed the chapter initiation kind of trials they end up serving the chapter like indentured servants these are admic you can tell the difference okay we're gonna take a little quick break I'm gonna, I need another hot drink. I'm going to quickly make one of those and I'll be back in about two minutes. Uh, straight back into it, eh? Brother, you seem troubled. I tire of reckless fools. I hope you do not mean us. Not unless you worship the Omnisign. Ah. Then I share your distaste. Ford the Thunderhawk gunship. Let's go. Okay, seven of the machine, Avarex. Tyranid forces surround the Temple of Thessian. Breaking through their lines is the only way to retrieve Moria's Luz. Enter the temple, ex extract the Magos and bring him safely aboard the Resilient. I love these little quotes at the bottom. I grow weary of this flesh I was born into, strangely disgusted by its nature. I crave only the cold, clean certainty of steel and silicon, that I might become one with the blessed machine. Everex. Sector Administratum. Uh oh.
Let's go, brothers. Minor damage. Tag team is inbound. Can we depend on you for extraction? Yes, Lord. We will be there. Very good, brother. The Emperor protects. Make haste. We have considerable ground to cover. Proceed to the dome. My parry did not work. Then it did. Get wrecked. Okay, did pretty well there. Throw. A tricky adversary. Can't remember what they are. Sure, we'll soon find out. What we got here a uh, bolt carbine, instigator bolt, scope precision with three round bursts. I'm I'm good. I'm good with what I've got. Oh, the Emperor! Aid the Estra Militarum. Can you imagine being like normal human soldiers, and you're? You know, you're in pretty you're in pretty big trouble. And you're like, oh no, and then all of a sudden, like a couple of space marines rock up, like that'd be pretty epic, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. Execute, execute, execute. Where's that coming from? Where's that coming from? Oh, we're okay. Morales. Is that you? Chiron! Bless the Emperor. It's good to see you. Where's your squad? Gone. Neurothrope tore them to pieces. Remember what a Neurothrope is. Across the bridge. Lieutenant. Nothing gets across with that beast up there. What are we up against? It has its rear covered and we do not have the manpower to break through. The Cadians are holding the bridge. At great cost. Set up assault positions by the bridge. We'll deal with the new Othro. Very well. We will avenge them, brother. Watch yourself. We will avenge them, brother. Let's go. What's our theoretical? A direct assault on the rear guard. No. Don't want to melt them. We get out of that stuff. Block that, why did I try and block it? Oh, no, he's got that one, that's okay.
Come on, run. Oh, yes. Rip off its horn and then shove its horn down its throat. How do you know, Varelis? We serve together in Ninth Company. I owe him my life. How so? We were once defending a stronghold from the North Sun. All for so much power. I'm trying to get my head. Cut the bastard's arm off and beat him to death with it. Let us honor him by avenging his men. Yes, let us do that. Oh! Oh, I forgot, you gotta wiggle the stick. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm going to kill it. My favourite models in the new Tyranid range are the Von Ryan's Leapers. When they make Space Marine 3, they should definitely uh, include some more of them. What else you could have on your wish list for Space Brother, Marine 3? What happened on Gryer? Nothing good. Can you be specific? I would sooner focus on the mission at I mean, how many years did this was this in development? To the mission at hand. Can't even Watch remember. Yourself, your behavior has been erratic. You force your way into classified files. Must be you like five nothing. years Gatrio. at least. We deserve to know who is leading us. This conversation is over. Sorry for being a snot reg guy today. Bolt carbine, melter rifle, stalker bolt rifle. Uh, yep. we'll go with this for a little bit. Uh, actually, no, heavy bolt rifle. Because we 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 go in indoors. I don't think on a long range weapon indoors. Death, Xenos. Morales, ready your men. Oh, nice. We're about to take down the Neurothrope. Good. Make it suffer. Yes. We will, brothers. Okay, that's it. It's like a um, it's like a zone throat, but more bigger. Damn, it's got like lightning attack. Okay, so it is it's it's pretty similar to the zone throat but just more nasty. through these pulses. Oh, 
Oh, damn. I'm getting wrecked here. Oh no, I don't want to be stuck in me. Oh, damn it, God, this takes ages to reload. Time to wreck it. Beautiful. One less neurothrope until the hive mind us, creates another one from all that tasty biomass. By the Primarch, I had little faith I would hear from you again. Will you be joining the assault? Our path leads to the dome. Travel well, brothers. Okay. That was good. Lance of Joe, we are heading for the bridge. The status report. The damage is worse than I thought. Take priests are working on it now. Brothers, let us All right. What do we got here? Oh my god, how epic is that? Spores are pretty, pretty dangerous. Extra Militarum are doing pretty well over on that other flank. Peter Ryan, brothers. Sergeant, good to see you. The Canadians have the bridge under control. Thought you could use an extra hand. A welcome up. Climb on. That's on my wish list for Space Marine 3 is maybe getting to control like a vehicle or something I wouldn't want them to make it open world but you could sort of make it like a big war zone and you can move around it in a vehicle that could be done quite well but I don't know kind of you know it is a sort of run through a corridor shooter by nature but then you know Dark Souls became Elden Ring people were like how do you make open world dock souls and they did the enemy the dome. as long as you don't let what about a certain French Cassie? publisher anywhere near it because they'll just slap the gener oh I'll something's going on here on whose authority? Captain Fairburn. Chiron knows something is up until further notice. the dome is empty now move on but sire I gave you an order Give me my lord. 
Perhaps there was a communication error. The captain insisted, the deserters. No, no, no. We have our orders. Box your captain. If you are deserters, I'll execute you myself. Captain Fairburn, come in. Captain Fairburn, come in. Ambush! Dang him! Egyptians in space. Oh, where did he come from? Ah, oh, they can teleport. They might be able to teleport, but you can kill them like this. All right, let's get a bit of cover. Not that you know. off. Oh, yep. Chopping half with the chainsaw. Beautiful. we can oh we can get up there hang on what have we got here stalker bolt rifle bothered by that I'm pretty sure I can just like literally run through the guardsmen and they will die See if it works. Oh no, getting shot. It's cool to see Thousand Sons in a game. They're quite a neglected uh, faction, I think. In video game depictions. I'm pretty certain, yes. make dude that we want for our grenades no oh, I'll get the ammo see this is where I see a lot of people going wrong they're like oh my health bar is low what do I do use fury oh damn Chiron's not a happy chappy. Cover him. 
Okay. They're definitely not impervious to our weapons, don't even worry about that. I think those things are called singles or something. See, now we activate this. Oh, could have parried that. Forgot the parry button. He's got them. Oh, could have parried that too. And could have... Gonna die. Oh no, got a stim. Gotta remember your stims and your fury. Oh, well done, Chiron. You're just laying them up for me, buddy. this artifact destroy pretty cool Look, the force fields are collapsing Chiron move through the exit what have we got here Les scoped single file Chiron is big angry. Oh, hi, guy. Okay, we can. Oh, yeah. up with Gadriel. It's not a very good weapon actually because they move a bit. Maybe actually, maybe it's okay.
So, Tails and Sons are a really interesting faction because they were very loyal to the Emperor and their Primarch Magnus was very, very loyal to the Emperor until an event called uh, the Council of Nicaea. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And the Emperor outlawed Space Marines from using psychic powers. And the Thousand Suns were essentially, uh, all of them were, were psychers. And so they didn't take that very well. But even so, they stayed loyal. They still stayed loyal. And uh, when Magnus became aware of Horus's betrayal, he decided to try and warn the Emperor using like psychic stuff. And he he wrecked the Emperor's project, which I won't go into. The Emperor was very angry and sent the Space Wolves to bring him in for questioning. Oh, hang on. You will die when and where he so chooses, not over some personal vendetta. Do you understand? Lieutenant, you should see this. Or two there, I think. We'll find out soon. Ah, oh, that's... Is that Fulgrim? Those must be in there. They're using some kind of shield. The Surely others. not. Same ones we encountered earlier. They must generate the shield. Destroy them. Then purge these abominations from the face of this world. Alright, I want a better weapon now than that laser rifle thing. It seems the traitor's motives are unmasked. Seems. You doubt they wish to stop Aurora. You will soon learn that when dealing with heretics, nothing is as it seems. Okay, cool. We do get a different weapon. Uh, plasma incinerator, power sword. Melter rifle. A fine gift from the board. Give this a try. Be in trouble here. Yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. Kind of walked right into a Bit of a trap there. Your treachery ends now. Munition secured. And they're just gonna leave them to me to finish off, but okay. We 
supposed to go down there? I don't know. Surely we are. Maybe not. What have we missed? They're waiting there for me. I hope we haven't bugged out. Damn, may have bugged out here. Oh, that's annoying if we have. Advance to the Temple of Thessian. left an enemy somewhere or something or is it just bugged out feel like we're supposed to go through this door but his head off. Sheesh. We got through that without a lot of health. So we've got to just stay close enough to it to wear it down, basically.
Skadoosh, have that in your face. No, nope, that's my buddy. Need to get some armor back. get back by the altar otherwise the bar's not going to go up and we'll be just doing this for hours fifty percent it's good Where's that thing? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So, buddy, skadoosh. Should be all of them, eh? Is that all of them? Yep. Let's give this eyeball a squish. I hate you having a cold. I feel like I'm about 5,000 degrees. <coughs> we'll do this mission, then we'll wrap up. Hey, guy. Barge. Compliance, but I must speak with Archmaker's Nozick at once. He's it's going to be a problem. Dead. 
You are to replace him. Lose. Mm. I don't believe him a one Why bit. Mechanicus meddle with the unknown. We follow the will of the Omnisire. Go ahead. Titus, report to Captain Atheran immediately on arrival. Confirmed. Titus. A Captain Titus was killed on the forge world of Graia over a century ago. He died holding the power source. Possibly not. Not even that an Astartes could survive power of that magnitude. He's like, shut up. Shut up, brah. the Savo skulls like looking at him and these guys are like hmm what is our lieutenant up to that's what I'd be thinking if I was them oh god boiling I need like a little animation thing for these loading screens because I've got a really fast computer but it takes ages to load. And yet like I say on my laptop, real quick, but I suppose we're only playing 1080p, so smaller textures maybe, don't know. We must report to Captain Akaran. Plug those Promethean links immediately. I will need a repair crew before my next flight. Take note of the battle damage for the engine seers. Armor plating in sections 28B and 40E is compromised along with void seers. Portside aileron is jammed. Portside afterburner has shrapnel lodged inside. Pressure test the fuel the If there's any, like, surely there is just no... Short range sensors have been rendered useless. No way in like real life aerodynamics that a Thunderhawk could fly. Personally, I might be wrong. Maybe it's not, but. Uh, oh, yeah, I was trying to do trying to do operations this is my crimson fist uh, can we do a screenshot like a photo how do we how do we get a photo I've seen all these people sharing their screenshots of their like all the ultramarines are like where's that guy on our ship Probably a lot of people in operations are like, Crimson Fists? That's old school. And it is. It's very old school. Right, so how do we... How do we...
How do we take a screenshot of that? I want to take a screenshot of this. Or are they using like... Are they using uh, overlay software or something? Probably A, because it doesn't look like there's an option here. Oh, they're probably doing it on console. They're probably using this share thing on console. Um, I'm going to take a photo on my phone. This is old school. Look at this. Meta. Love this guy. And while we're in here, I've done my sniper as well. See this dude? Do that. Oh! It's pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. They're the only two I've done so far I need to do. All my others. We're not doing an operation now though, we're going to go back into the main campaign. Carry on with that. Pain, Everex, Void Song. Uh, Cool. We must report to Captain Ackerman. Let's go and talk to Captain Ackerman. Irrelevant. I don't know, was it irrelevant? We only want to help you. Help. You almost cost us the mission, and now you speak of help. Oh, they're getting a bit testy with each other. All part of the hero's journey, my friends. I'm sure it'll be fine. God, I love this game. It is so impressive. Little Edmake dude sneaked on the escalator. <laughs> Come on, guys. Out of the way. I don't want to squish you. It's pretty crazy how big Astartes are to normal humans. I just realized something. He's only got one service stud, and you get them every 50 years. I thought it was every 100, but in the intro movie, he says every 50. One moment. We have to get inside. Emperor, save me. I've tried. Now the Terranids have launched an attack on our defenses. We're pulling back to the floor. Trying to sneeze. We'll make our final stand. <laughs> Battlefield projection. Magnify C3. Oh. Where are you? God, I hate being sick. There. The hive tyrant. We've had no reports. It's there. We kill it. We break the So, connection. Captain Ekaran is a captain. Like and he's only been an Astartes for 50 years. I cannot afford to throw men after a hunch. Give me two squads. It's done pretty well. Squads. We need to kill the hive tyrant. Find whoever is jamming us and get the message inside the relay. Six men. 
That's all I can spare. Use them wisely. That kills the Emperor protects. The Emperor protects. And he can always seem to spare us six men. Very conveniently. Okay, we've got to get the message to Lord Kalgar. That sneeze, like, completely blew out my eardrums. Ugh. My, uh, my four-year-old son finds me sneezing absolutely hilarious. If the chaplain wishes to see you because of my transgressions, I would take full responsibility. I gave no report. I have yet to decide if you require formal penance. lurks in the shadows of the Hive City. One thing they don't show is uh, the size of a Primaris versus a firstborn space marine when you look at them as models there's a big difference Titus the captain has put great faith in you with this mission should you reach the relay your message to Lord Kalkar may determine the course of this war choose your words wisely you doubt my intentions it is your actions I will judge I need not remind you of the consequences you suffered the last time. If you cannot trust in the will of the Primarch, then you are unfit for this duty. We're done? Yeah, we're done. It's a it's a conundrum, like Robute Gilliman has said, to proceed with this uh, course of action testing out the, the artifact but Titus is like nah nah bro we should not do that and now I find you have a history of it I am doing my duty as I was then protecting a system from ruin it's a conundrum isn't it you can see why Gedriel and Chiron might be a bit, a bit sort of uh, puzzled or skeptical. Maybe is the better word. Oh, we got new war gear. Let's go. That's the Mechanicum talking to each other. Lieutenant Galio and I were just examining your recent diagnostic. Galio. I object to such intrusions. What that was? But they are queries I must fulfill. I seek only answers. Your survival is a profound mystery that must be resolved. Such unbridled curiosity is the gateway to ruin. But that is where you are mistaken. Ruin is all around us, but I will soon depart for the Aurora facility on the burial. And there, I shall close all gateways to ruin permanently. You will see. Oh, I mean, maybe he's made a convincing case to the Primarch that he can put an end to... Uh, sort of chaos but geez it's a uh, it's a big claim maybe the Primark is like yeah it's worth the risk Lieutenant the hello is ready we are yours to command, Lieutenant. The astropathic relay on Avarax is under direct assault. If it falls, so do our hopes of reinforcement. We will engage in a three-point operation to break the Xenos command, restore Vox, and secure the relay. We will not fail you. Not one of us can afford to fail this day. Prepare for deployment. I will transmit mission details on descent. All right, bros. 
think we uh, we know what we're doing. Got a universe to save. No pressure. No pressure. Void Song. The Adeptus Mechanicus insists on deploying Aurora despite the potential dangers posed by its power source. The Ultramarines must stand ready to respond should this latent threat manifest. Transmit a warning to Chapter Master Marnius Kalgar. Mission objectives access the Astropathic Relay. Send a message to Lord Kalgar. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Done the Hive Tyrant operation yet? I think that'll be a really cool one. Speak your mind, brother. I searched the archives. You were once captain of the second company, and then you disappeared over a century ago. I was serving with the Death Watch. There would be records. For a black shield. A black shield? You would erase your chapter markings. I would die for these colors. Then why? I was accused. It was my penance. What were you accused of? Corruption. They've got a pretty high standard, eh? Because. Like, he was only accused, they never found anything wrong, and he still had to do a hundred years in the Death Watch as a Black Shield. So a Black Shield is like, you're too good a warrior to waste, but they don't want you advertising which chapter you belong to, because you're kind of in disgrace. Delta wing, box check. Here. Pretty rough. Talassa has landed. And soon a tyrant will fall. Acknowledged. Proceeding to relay. Maintain box reports. Damocles out. The Astropath relay is four miles from here. Expect heavy Tyranid presence. What of the arch enemy? Sporadic reports. But they are here. Hell, fellas. Um, I wonder if we actually do travel like the equivalent of four miles. This is cool. So they're commissars, they're uh, morale officers. I beg of you that you forgive my cowardice. In uh, World War II, the Soviets actually had them, and they would shoot you if you ran away. We should probably get a wriggle on. As we say, Dan under. We should probably rattle our dags. 
Chiron. If we encounter Chaos forces, you need not concern yourself with me, Lieutenant. Disappear like that again, and you'll be facing the Master of the Watch. I understand. Sir, why did you not tell us of your penance earlier? It was not your business. And now it is. You have made it so. Through suspicion and intrigue. Right, what have we got here? I think I'm pretty good with everything I've got. I like the heavy bolter. It jammed, my lord. Damage from the last attack. All good, fellas. Watch out the way. Seal the gates behind us. Yes, my lord. Close the gates. The relay is ahead. Sports. Oh, here we go. Count me little Imperial Guardian chums. Probably should have. He's dead, that's cool. I hate these things. that in your face. Oh! I thought he was going to try and steal that kill from me then. What's that? Oh, I can't see. There. Up oh, behind us somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Over there. There it is. Resupply. The spores collapsed the bridge. There's no way through. I may have an alternate route. Oh yeah. Tell me which way. We need to clear this debris. Where? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Don't mind me, piece of gothic architecture. Okay, down here. These things are weird, eh, little cherubs? Oh, shouldn't sightsee when we're surrounded by horny gonks. One of my friends sort of was like, oh, you can complete the whole thing in six hours. I was like, no, definitely not six. I reckon you could do it in like ten. I think, we found our I think so. Oh, good work. Oh, I am looking forward to doing that operation.
Nice. So they think they've killed it, but they haven't. Oh. I love that mechanic though, if you kill the synapse creature, the lesser creatures just like automatically die. That's a lot of Tyranids. Oh, I'm finish it off, Karen. Well done. Yes, chopping through them. Right, he's just going to leave it. I'll go and kill it. I would agree with the people who said that fighting the uh, Tyranids is more fun than fighting the fighting the. Uh, traitor marines that is that is true like it is more fun fighting the tyranids but it's still fun fighting the traitors it's just more fun fighting the tyranids that's all so i didn't know but you can smash these crates open didn't know until like today that you could do that is there an alternate route? Yes, but it would take considerable time. Then we must find the power and restore it. <laughs> we go this way because the uh, thing is here. Melter rifle, bolt carbine. Check out those mines. Very good. this data slate I must have already collected that one is that why it's Are they like just one-off collectibles I don't know right let's go upstairs anyway Looks like uh, someone's already been through this way, eh? Restocking. We have power. Open the door. It's got a candle on his head. Probably should have dodged there, shouldn't I? Jim would have been a good idea. The heretics mean to stop us. To all appearances, yes. They certainly do. Elaborate. 
The Traitor Legion's legacy of deception goes back 10,000 years. They are masters of it. They are clearly here to stop Aurora. I am not convinced. There is more to this, I am sure of it. Pytus has got a hunch. I will kill them just the same. Oh yeah, don't you love it when bad guys fight bad guys in games? This dude off. Ah, press the wrong button again. Good work boys, good work. I don't think there's anything up here, is there? Oh yeah, ammo. Oh, I don't want that, I want ammo. Thank you. Gross, look at that. Ditch the uh, it's ditch the stalker bolter when we can. It'd be cool to know if this, if you do actually end up in real time traveling four miles. <laughs> Sorry about the gross blowing nose shit. Probably should have turned my camera off for yesterday and today's stream, but nah. Who cares? Requesting Gamma Pat and Hammerfall Bunker on my location immediately. You mean to jump? Request confirmed. Stand by. There's our entry. Ooh, That's gonna use jump backs again. Damocles to Talassa. Report. If Talassa fails to take out the Hive Tyrant, then our little excursion was all for naught. Well done, brah. We should have remained with the main force. 
Why toil in obscurity when there's glory center stage? Hey, Sergeant. Our brothers are dying while we sneak around in the shadows. If we fail to send this message, we face a massacre. Titus is right, man. Titus is right. Just trust. Trust your lieutenant. I know how he does the four miles. There is tension. There is tension between them. And now we get to use jump pack smash. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well fought, Guardian. Form a defensive line at that breach. Yes, my lord. Reinforce the breach. Yes, we're going through here. Yep. Hello fellas, uh, we'll get auto bolt rifle. Admit guys doing repairs. Here we go! Oh, 
Professor, you cut out. Repeat. Uh, up here, I guess. So far, three objectives. None have been achieved. No going back now. Red grenades, yes, thank you. By. Oh, those dudes over there, okay. Yes, there is. Get them all? Nope. There's more over here. Maybe up here. Uh, he's got that. Should have anyway. Yep, we're good. Sure, I've got a stem, but I don't think we need to use it just yet. If you use a stem when you've got full health, you remove one of your mortal wounds. So I think you can get mortally wounded twice, and on the third one, you die. But if you use a a stem well. on full health, you can actually remove a mortal wound. I don't have any more wounds at the moment, so we're okay, but... Uh-oh. <laughs> Not coping very well with the dust, eh? Dust? Anybody? No. I was sticking with the chainsword. Man, I didn't block in time at that time. Okay, this weapon's pretty good against uh, Hormigants. Where's that shooting me from? Ah, oh, up there. I don't think I can get up there at the moment, can I? Got that one though. Finally got that guy. Cool.
trying to save that guardsman, but I didn't manage to. Well done, guardsman. What's that beastie? I heard a big beastie somewhere. Where was that? Where is it? It's gonna be... Uh, where is it? Or did they kill it already? Oh yeah, I'll just twist its head off, that's cool. Oh, here we go. I got a stem? Yes, I do. Jeez. Should dodge that. Got more. I'm sure there's more ammo somewhere. Crack grenades. Crack grenades. Crack grenades. Uh oh. No, why did I swap out? I've messed up. I wanted... I want crack grenades. Uh oh, got no ammo. No ammo, I need to... Uh, stop it! Don't lock on! Unlock! Quick, 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 quick! Jeez, it's intense. Jeez, he's an angry boy. Oh, there's a heavy bolter there. We'll grab that in a sec. I didn't see that there earlier, or was I just missing it? Why can I see? Ah. Oh. oh, really? Two of them? What is this? Oh, Hive Tyrant's dead. Look at my health bar. The turmoil you now see among the enemy can mean only one thing. The hive tyrant is dead. Viridian here. If you can hear this, Damocles, we got the bastards. You sure did. Work, brother. Any contact with Talasa? Talasa to Damocles. 
The alien contaminates our world no longer. Lieutenant Titus to relay. Area secure. Open Get some frag grenades. That was pretty intense. That was a really intense fight. I wonder if you died on that fight earlier on, whether you would have to redo it. Like, was that just done for dramatic effect when you kill that first Carnifex? I will make sure the captain hears of your deeds. I need no commendation. <laughs> Is that right? Enough. Lieutenant, upon completion of this mission, I request transfer to another squad. I will pass your request to the captain. Man, dick move that is. Although, to be fair, they've been asking like him all these questions, and Titus is like, nah, I'm not telling you. Nah. Nah. Not telling you. When really, like, he should just tell them. Always tell the truth. A little bit of wisdom there for you, chat. No matter how bad the situation is, you can only make it worse by not telling the truth. What have we got? Marksman. Bolt rifle. Let's, let's go with that. Let us hope we are not too late. Creepy robot cherub babies. Look at them. How do we do? Oh yeah, there we go. Photo mode. Oh, let's go back a bit. Look at how how scary is that? Like, sorry. That's pretty scary. I don't even know what button it is to actually take a picture. It doesn't actually tell you, does it? If anyone knows, pop it in the chat, please. Hey, you actually take a screenshot. Oh. You shouldn't be here. I have a message from Marnius Kalgar. I cannot help you. It's urgent. In addition to the shadow cast in the warp by the Tyranids, demonic forces are now poised to attack anyone who opens their minds to the warp. You would flee from your duty. I would have you know. Give me your message. Oh. Let us begin. They go through a process called soul binding when they become astropaths and they lose their eyes, they lose their sight as part of that process. But this is how the Imperium basically communicates over long distances with telepathic Telepathic signals all very ritualistic and so astropaths have blindness navigators who are the ones that can guide spaceships through the warp they have a third eye This is like a super cool depiction of 
how astropaths actually do work though. It's very cool. Sure I got that law right, let me know in the comments if I haven't, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Fall for it, bro. Don't fall for it. on to it man Chiron is on to it oh Should probably kill that oh this is this was the name that was on the Thunderhawk. Isn't that... I'm pretty sure. It's uh, probably not good. Stay still. Let me shoot you. going on. Ah. So I talked a little bit on the last stream about how the Thousand Sons have got an interesting uh, beef. Because they were actually very loyal to the Emperor. Oh, damn. Now, ah, watch out for Flamethrower Helmet, dude. Their story is very tragic, because they were loyal, very loyal, and then their Primarch Magnus messed up a little bit, a little bit, kind of quite a lot, and uh, Horus played them for, well, did he trick them? No, he tricked Lehman Russ, who is the Primarch of the Space Wolves. Who the Emperor sent to uh, bring the Thousand Sons to heal, and Horus tricked him and and told him that the Emperor wanted Magnus dead, so Lehman Russ tried to kill him. At which point the Thousand Sons were very upset.
and fell in with chaos. Oh! He's got like... Stop spamming that. Where's he gone? Oh, I don't think this is good. I was hoping we were going to get to finish him off a bit, that would have been a cool way to kill him. Did he escape? I don't he know. escaped. Lieutenant Titus of course he did. This is Titus. Chaos forces have been detected entering the system. They are going after Aurora. We are leaving for Demerium immediately. How did you know? I was a boy on Kalf when the word bearers attacked. I came to know the mark of chaos. We're returning to the battle. That is a very significant little bit of lore. So basically, Chiron is ten thousand years old. Are we clear? So he was on health. If you want to read a really cool novel, go and read No No Fear by Dan Abnett, which is one of the better Horus Heresy novels. But it's probably my favourite one, I think out of all of them, so, well, out of that initial arc. And Primaris Marines were kind of created back then and sort of kept in stasis. There's a lot of lore to explain on that one. But they were kept in stasis, so Chiron was turned into a Space Marine 10,000 years ago, put on ice, and woken up when Reboot Gilliman came back. Sorry. Can't be into this shit since 1989 and not know a little bit about it. Know what I mean? Even with a 10 year hiatus in the midst of all that. En route to Brothers, Demirium. This is Aurora. Within the last few hours, traitor forces have arrived in their hundreds and commandeered the facility. Commandeered? Where is Luz? Inside. They have the facility. Luz and the power source. Holy terror. Perhaps you were right, Titus. Hell yeah, I was right. What's up, theoretical? We've diverted all available forces to the Merriam, but we're well below full strength. We prepared an assault, but it has little chance of success unless we take care of this. They're using it to draw in reinforcements. For every one of them we kill, two more show up in their place. It's heavily guarded. I'll need a combat squad, five men. I can spare three men. Of course he can spare three. Next. 
the enemy seem to be drawing their power from this. It's like the most important thing that they have to do, and he's like, oh, I can only give you three men. Every attempt to bring it down has failed. Pretty important. Your squad has developed a reputation for unconventional approaches. Any ideas? I've read of Denarian. It's a burial world. 4,000 years ago, there was a clash between the Ultramarines and the Heretics. The Sword of Atreus, a battle barge wrecked in the fighting, was laid to rest here. What of it? Records state that while its body was ruined, its engines burned bright, even as it was interred. It may not fly, but it might run. A long shot to say the least. Worth a try. Very well then. Navigation systems are probably dead. We can't afford to miss. He's right. Someone will need to get close to the target and place a beacon. Our offensive launches in 90 minutes. The Emperor guide you, brothers. And you, sir. Well, I think the captain's impressed. See me on the crew deck at once. As you wish, Chaplain. Ensure brothers Chiron and Gadriel are in attendance. Okay, we got microphone, we got game. Excellent. Let's go. Chaplain wants to tell us off being naughty, I think. Sure, what we did wrong. But we'll go and take our licks. Using an ancient battle barge as a battering ram. An unorthodox approach. You disapprove. On the contrary, it is inspired thinking. I like the plan as well. I think it's a really good plan. Why reluctantly? Because it will go to your head. Does the chap then want to talk to us about? Titus, I am troubled by a report I have received from the Astro Telepathica. An accusation of heresy. Her voice was puppeted by her. The lieutenant will answer. The psycho was possessed. Your sergeant believed otherwise. I was mistaken. You attempted to incapacitate your lieutenant. Thank the Emperor I failed. And is bro. the only individual capable of reaching Lord Kalgar is dead. By your hands. I will be watching all of you. Should I suspect even a flicker of corruption? We're I in will trouble. Not hesitate as you did. You are dismissed. Pretty badass. I've seen a lot of dialogue about cherubs. What was spoken by the chaplain? They not hear that conversation. Let's go. There's been a lot of discourse about the cherubs on um, on Twitter, and it, it it really actually hammered home to me uh, about you know like I'm not I'm not really sure when Warhammer 40k got popular in countries outside of Britain, but Warhammer 40k comes kind of from a uh, I don't even know how to describe it, but very gothic. Oh, thank you for the follow. Good to see my actual alerts didn't work though, but at least the chat one did. The since the burning of Prospero. They will suffer. They will break. 
2,000 points right there. Sons of Gilliman, for the glory of Ultramar. For the glory of Ultramar. Why my alert didn't fire off? Thankfully, stream elements. Stream elements work. The Tonner 2, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. We got new war gear. Let's go and get new war gear. But yeah, um, Warhammer 40k is very, very British product of its time. From the like, the inspirations from it are from the sort of late 70s, early 80s. Always love heavy bolt pistol. And if we avoid the debris, could we survive the descent? Calculating. Survival probability equal to sixty-two point four one three six. Go with that today. Unacceptably low. Thank you, Gallio. Unacceptably low. Yeah, so it, it's a product of kind of the the punk. Orbital drop without gravis on kind of ah it's really hard to explain but like the culture in the uk in the late 70s early 80s you know but it's the same thing that inspired judge dread and um and things like that ultra violence and so things like cherubs and servitors make sense in that context but I can understand why if you weren't around the UK in those times, um, these things can seem a little bit like, whoa, what's going on? I mean, I got into Warhammer in 1989. Can you believe it? That is a long time ago. That's a scarily long time. You used to be able to buy the miniatures in a what they used to call a blister pack. Two pounds ninety nine for like three, and they were made of lead. We used to touch them with our fingers and then be like. Mm. Not a good idea. You ever done this before? Drop through an active combat zone, dodging flak, enemy ships, and burning wreckage on the way down. Exactly. No, this will be a first. The codex is starting, it's just not support this action. Hi there! And I am looking forward to it. Just so stopping by? Don't How are you? To regroup if we're separated. 60 seconds. Helmets. Don't come into my chat with that shit. Fuck off. You're getting banned. That's all I'm gonna say. Final mission of the game, people. Let's go. Right, we're jumping out of a spaceship, and we got to dodge stuff on the way down. I'm trying. I'm flying through the wreckage of a 
cathedral spaceship. Oh, corpse. Yeah. Be a hell drake. Cool, cool. Eyes, my eyes. Joining server. Seriously, do these bots think that anyone is actually going to go to their dodgy ass website and buy fucking viewers? Oh, it makes me angry. There's parasites. I am concerned that there are people who do. Because why, why would they bother pestering people? I hope if you're ever watching this and you're a real life streamer, you never, ever, ever go to one of these dodgy ass websites. Alright. Let's go. Oh, I got a thunder hammer, I forgot. Yay. Hey! Bonk! Bonk! Bomb! Boof! 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 Skadoosh! Nice. Any more? No, not on this side. Oh, we're not going to be able to reach him from here. Okay, that's alright. We will from here, though. Execute. Where's those shots coming from? Ah, oh, over there. No, over there? Where, 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 where? Oh, right. Nice. I'm sure there was one, like, over here somewhere. Yeah, here. I love the animations, eh? And you, one thing that bot was useful for, we know that the uh, the chat feature is working on restream. It's good, eh? So I take it all back, bot. You did actually have a purpose in life. Still get banned because when you came into my chat, you acknowledged that you weren't going to try and sell me any shit, and you came in and tried to sell me shit, which is a big no-no. But thank you for verifying that my chat works. Bonk! Bonk! Thunder Hammer is pretty tasty. Bit of, bit of competition. Uh, plasma incinerator, chainsaw, bolt, sniper rifle. Very good. Or a melter rifle.
Did I pick that up? Yes. Where are we going? Through this door. They come from over here. Evolution time. It's the other one there. There he is. Thunderhammer's the way to go. It was in the last game as well. We could do some serious damage to people with the Thunderhammer. Only one way to take out one of these heretics, rip his head off. So more what is he shooting? Where's he shooting? Treachery ends now. Right, I think we can go across here, come. Look. Splat this eyeball thing. Look at that. It is slowing down. Heretic sorcery. No doubt. But it will get us to our objective. It is probably a trap. Time is limited. We must take the risk. Move on to the cathedral. Proceed with caution. Salasa, we are almost there. What is your status? The sleeping giant will soon awaken, brother. All right, let's go. Someone's got a lock signal without. Oh crap! I die. We die or no? Sure, what happened then? We're we not supposed to go that way. Yeah. It's a bit weird. I think we just glitched. Put our beacon down. Salasa, transmitting targeting signal now. Your signal barely registers, but I read it. Your data is clouded, Lieutenant. Maintain close proximity to target. 
hold until the battle barge has a lot. We are pushed back. The Atreus will miss its tongue. We will not yield a single step. <laughs> that worried about that, are we? Right, where are those shots coming from? There's a Terminator somewhere. We need to kill it. Where is it? It's over here. Now it's over here. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh! Right on us. Damn, missed. Eyes uh, over there. Okay. We've got to uh these taking a lot of damage. A hold in to do, uh, we can back to the warp. You. Back to the warp. Where is he? Right here. Ah, he's teleporting again. Man, these things are annoying. Oh. Get my armor back. Anyone else hear that? Oh. Something's happening. What's happening? The Sword of Atreus. Boom. One way to do it. Right, where have we got to go? Advance to the mechanical facility. Tell him. Sure what he's gonna do, but it's not gonna be good, is it? Then we're go on, finish him off, finish him off. Well, they will. Let's 
Skadoosh! Oh, okay. They use their shields pretty well, the old Sengors or whatever you call them, eh? Just have to wait, yep. He's a uh and I will destroy it. To whom do you speak? Do not they can't hear me. Uh they can't hear petty tricks. Nemroth or whatever his name is. You're talking about my emperor like that. Love these thousand sons terminates. Love ripping their heads off. Oh yeah. Still got quite a few heavy bolter rounds to go around, boys. Proceed to the camp. So I didn't know until now that you can smash these open and get like ammo and stuff out of them. I only found that out towards the end of my third playthrough. Yep. Don't mess with the heavy bolter right up close. It's gonna it's gonna embed for you, chum. That guy just got absolutely splattered by uh, Pyron. What have we got here? Plasma, heavy bolt rifle. Yes, please. Investigate the dig site. Sure thing. Una memento. I just want to. Clear that stupid bot message out of my chat. Chiron to resilient. Enter a mechanicus dig site, requesting relevant cartography. Restricted by order of the Adeptus Mechanicus. This is that one the heavy bolt request authorized. authorized. Denied. Aurora seal required. Identify yourself. This is infuriating. All heretics. We are on the right That was some seriously, uh, so 
Got him before he dodged. Ready to deploy special tactics. Kill this dude. My AI companions must have got him, I think. Okay. Oh, so they all die when we do that. Okay. But I think we want to go through there. Where's the... Just their rear guard, no doubt. <laughs> a fragment of the dark god's power. So said the traitor Nemero. Do you believe it? He suddenly. Do we need bloody footprints? Was we do. Apparently not well enough. Pretty cool. That damnable Pretty cool. Archmagos. If it truly is tainted with corruption, then we must destroy it permanently. Agreed. Read. I like kind of your jib, fellas. That airlock leads into the mines. Gather inside. I enter in quarantine zone. Decontamination required. We issue biological purgation within the chamber. Microbial index 1.2%. Initiating sterilization. Barely a sign of life on this world. It is a burial world, brother. Reserved for the dead. Oh, yeah. I need to find out when Final Fantasy 16 is out because I think that's our next game, chat. I think that's what's next for us. We're not sort of just being too strategic anymore. I just want to play games I enjoy. I and anything that will just stop me playing Space Marine 2 forever, because otherwise I am liable to do that. That duty is ours. That's how they dug the channel tunnel there, chat. Look, that's how you do it. On them. Ancient ruins. A cover for their research, perhaps. The subject of it, more likely. The figures in these carvings are unusual. Ancient marks of the ruinous powers. Etched by fools. Long before the Great Crusade illuminated this world. These were not made by devotees of the war. How do you know? You may soon see for yourself. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's chainsaw time, isn't it? Hey, I did Elastic Man. How are you, buddy? Thank you for stopping by. You missed my bot rage earlier. I got angry at a bot. This game is uh this game is so amazing. Oh, they penetrated deep. Okay. Probably unpenetrating then, I guess. With my chain sword. Can wreck this guy. These 
I think they're called singles. And they're quite good at blocking, actually. Snipe. Feel like I should have. Um... Oh, crap. Took my eye off the ball for a second there. I was focused too much on the sniper. <laughs> Meat rectangle. Yeah, well, in in the Horus Heresy books, they talk about the um, the process of being turned into a space marine, causing uh, I think they use the word gigantism, like it, it blows out all of your proportions. But um, I think they've evolved the design now to. Um, sort of make them look a lot, a lot cooler than they used to. I think it's good. Gadriel's a handsome devil. Titus looks like kind of the more traditional, but then Titus wasn't born a Primaris. Or oh, sorry, he was. He went through surgery to become a Primaris. He wasn't uh, kind of made into one right at the beginning of his Astartes journey. Same with um, Chiron, he was Primaris from day one. Whereas Titus gets made into one through surgery. As a, as a grown up. Which is a bit of a... Um, oh crap, I'm gonna die. Ah... They do, they do. It's because they're pure energy. God, that Terminator's wrecking us. We need to... Execute his ass! But yeah, if I ever get... If I ever go to a wedding, I'm going to save money on expensive confectionery. I'm just going to take a thousand sun heretic space marine and just rip its head off. It'd be pretty, uh, right now. Does this work? Mortal wound heal. Yeah. If you use a stim when you're on full health, it actually removes one of your mortal wounds. Because another death and I would have had to restart. Which would have been annoying. Yeah, you can, you can, they were like, can we squeeze a few more things into that chest cavity? Sure, we can. We just need to pump him full of more like hormones and horse tranquilizer maybe, I don't know. I don't know what they use. There's a surgeon guy on YouTube and he did a thing of like, could you actually do what they do to a space marine? Anyway, no, you couldn't. You'd die. But... It's still pretty cool. The whole concept of Space Marines is super cool. I love the... The kind of... When, when you really get into the lore of them, the... Contradictory nature of, you know, being given, like... Immort basically immortality. But you are going to die a violent death on the battlefield. No space marine dies of old age. So you're given all this power. But you are going to just one day come up against something that's more badass than you and you're going to die. And in the meantime, you fight, pray and train. That's like your life. It could well be, eh? Maybe, maybe we, uh, we will. I wouldn't want to be one, though. Like, number one, like, a lot of, a lot of aspirants die during the trials to become one. Most of them die. The ones that survive but fail, they become those chapter surfs that you see wandering around the spaceship. And then if you do survive, you just get to fight all the time until you die. 
fine gift from the board. I don't know if that's particularly fun. Although in the grim darkness of the far future, what I'm seeing is desecration. Although I do have a, I do have a theory that when you think about how big the Imperium is, and every single world has got its own God, I hate these guys and they're blocking. Uh, every single world's got its own like you know, way of doing things. Actually your chances of being born Your chances are that you'd just be born into like a world where you'd like become a farmer or something or anything like that. Love the pistol to the head. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? Like this was the thing I was talking about the other night on one of the streams, was when you think about, like, uh, a space marine's metabolism, they'd basically have to eat, like, five cows a day, surely. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, it's a sorcerer dude. We need to kill him. Like, surely their, their calorie requirement would be insane. Surely you have to break this thing up. We will send them to one fitting. There was a movie in the like 90s, I think, maybe late 80s, can't remember when it came out, called Universal Soldier. And in that they kind of had these, it was Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren, and they had this um, thing where, because their metabolisms were so high, they were like starving hungry all the time. And they basically had to like sleep in ice baths because they were just boiling hot all the time as well. It's a great movie, eh? One of one of the yeah, one of the organs must do something like that because how how would you sustain the muscle mass? Like I don't I don't know. I reckon they wake up in the morning and eat about fifty roast chickens for breakfast, and then they're like, I'm good now. I'm back. Holy shit, I remember renting it out on VHS and watching it when I had chicken pops. Ooh. Marksman bolt carbine. They will not get past this. And a power sword. Normally a chainsword guy, but power sword is pretty good. How deep do these tunnels go? We shall see. Pull the elevator. Call the elevator. In the far future, there is only war and big elevators. They love themselves the big elevator. Rats emerge. Heretics hope to surround us. They may hope. Can you do me a favor and pop a message in the chat if you see an advert? I've set it up so I'm supposed to get like an alert when ads are running so I can pause the game and you, you don't miss out. And I'm a bit nervous that I've been streaming for like longer than I set that up for and I haven't had a message. And did you get a pre-roll? You shouldn't have. Trying to actually put some like effort into uh, managing Eds so that you get a better user experience. Ah, right, okay. I'll just have to see if my little alert thing works. I'm kind of kind of interested. I really hope it does because um, it really upsets me when people miss out on like you killing a boss in Elden Ring or something because you don't know that there's an ad break running. So I didn't realise that everyone got like ads at the same time. 
I always thought you got like just randomly depending on when you came into the stream, but now it turns out everyone gets them at the same time. So we can kind of like make it like an ad break in a TV show. I'll be like TV1. Cool man, yeah, let me, let me know if you do, don't worry. Don't worry about it too much. I'm kind of hoping. If I don't see one by an hour after I started streaming, that probably means it's not good. Because it should get, um, should get one at least once an hour. Oh. Every crack grenade, boys. Oh. Jeez. Wrecking me. Have that in your face. I forgot about these um, fellas with the scimitar thing. I was really happy that they chose Thousand Sons for the traitors though, because um, when I was playing Dark Tide a couple of weeks ago, someone in the chat was like, oh, I collect Thousand Sons and they never get any love. And he only popped into one chat, but he was a good dude. So I'm, I'm happy for him. Cool man, cool cool. That is right, yep. They get to be they get to be wedding celebration material. I'm gonna photoshop one of my wedding photos. And and like in one of the guest hands I'll put like some thousand suns. Space Marines instead of the little confetti things. I'm not that good at Photoshop, but I'll try. This place should have been obliterated upon discovery. Listen, thank you for your pathetic. I think it'll work, eh? Look how good this looks, and honestly, it's not even working my GPU that hard. It's crazy. Necrons! <laughs> They've doubled down on the Egyptians in space thing. Thousand Sun Traitor Marines and Necrons. He just bad mouthed the Primarch. Not on my watch, Bucko. Pay his squawking no heed, brothers. We will not be distracted from our brothers. So a little attention to detail thing, I, I play with all the characters wearing their helmets because I'm a nerd and it's just like Space Marines should wear their helmets unless they've got a good reason to take them off. And the, the actual voices when you have your helmet on it adds like a little echoey effect to the voices. If you take the helmets off they sound clearer. It's like just a little little touch. You can tell the people that made this absolutely love this well. um, they absolutely love 40k. Like I love 40k as a setting and I am so happy that these people made it. Exactly like you gotta have your, you gotta wear your helmet. That's what the Codex Astartes would tell you. Oh, what's going on here? This is uh, warp magic going on here. <coughs> Presumably there is a... Oh, leap! I'm getting rinsed. What's...
so many people die in this game all the time because they forget to use the um, ability, which makes your health replenish. Like, I've forgotten a few times to use it and I've ended up accidentally dying. Like some grenades. You down, Have no doubt. Thanks, buddies. Chaos abominations. Here come abominations. I can't stand abominations, eh? Honestly, there's one thing I cannot stand. That's abominations. Only two things scare me, and one of them's abominations. Especially ones that talk smack about the Emperor. How dare you! The Emperor loves us all. He eats a thousand Psyker's souls every day because he loves us so much. What are you talking about? Almost feels unfair just wrecking these guys, but they have fallen to the taint, the taint of chaos. That means it's Morbin time. All of this was just lying under our yeah, this is all Necron technology. And centuries longer still. Necrons are the second coming of the. Egyptian spirits. Thousand sons with the OGs. <laughs> I'm about to orb. Yeah, baby. It's it's morbid time. We need a like a ultramarine alternative to that. I did read a brilliant. Um, comment on Twitter, someone was like, Space Marine 2 would be a 10 out of 10 game, but unfortunately it makes Ultramarines cool, so I can only give it like 1 out of 10. Ultramarines do get a lot of hate, and it's only because like, loads of people in the 90s all played in Ultramarines. I don't really know why actually, I never did. But. I was um, pretty much since I started collecting 40k back in the late 80s, Crimson Fist, because they were the original cover art boys. Like that was my first intro to Warhammer. Uh, Warhammer 40k was Crimson Fist, so that was me. And then in the early 2000s, Blood Angels were the poster boys for a little bit. In like second edition. So I did collect Blood Angels. I saw some, there's a person I follow on Instagram. And uh, I, don't, I don't like the Plasma Incinerator. Um, he's done these like Blood Angels, but with like a desert color scheme. And they just look amazing. And I was like, should I finish off collecting Crimson Fists and get into collecting Blood Angels? But he's done it so well, and when people do that, you're like, you try and copy it, and it never looks as good as how they've done it. That's 
one of my favourite content creators is a guy called Scott Dominiac. And um, pretty much everything he does I end up copying him. So like he he built a Cordor game for Nick Munder, so I went and bought Cordor. And then I paint mine and I'm like the golden demon level painter like he is. So mine looks shit. Oh no, it's one of these side boys. Oh my god, I keep messing this up so bad. Stop it. Oh, I thought I blocked that. Alright, it's Morbin time. Oh shit. Very well, come back. Wiggling the joystick like it's 1999. <laughs> I'll read your message in a sec. Oh, I love the skewer animation. I got an achievement for performing 50 different execution animations. I was like, shit, how many are there? Yeah, I think I think it, they are just a little bit boring. And at some point, Games Workshop kind of decided to make them the like um, like the Romans of 40k, and they'd be all like noble and stuff compared to because most Space Marine chapters were kind of a bit more gritty when the setting was first developed. And they were like, no, ultramarines aren't ruthless like that. They'll, um, you know, they'll be quite noble and look after their people and not just use them as recruiting fodder. And they have like this concept of like noble families and stuff that offer up their sons to be ultramarines. And it's all a lot less brutal than other chapters recruitment. Ah, oh, it's one of these sorcerers trying to trick me again. Damn, could be in trouble here. Especially if I can't get out the way of this, uh... Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, like... Like, Space Wolves have got, like, character. Like, they've got, like, you know, they are, like, basically Space Vikings, eh? I do, I have a small Space Wolf army as well, but it's, it's probably going to get repurposed into, um, like, Kill Team. Suffer in death. But yeah, this game does actually make Ultramarines cool. And actually so does. I, I was I was chatting with Graham McNeil, who's one of the Black Library authors on Twitter. And I was like the combination of so he wrote this series of, of books about the Ultramarines. And the second novel is called Warriors of Ultramar. And it's about, like, the Ultramarines defending a world against a Tyranid invasion. And my hard-out view is that if they ever make a Warhammer 40k movie, they should just adapt that. Into, um, that should be the 40k movie as Warriors of Ultramar. And he seemed quite stoked with that suggestion. <coughs> But I think it is the way to go. So, um, so his book, and then Dan Abnett wrote one called No No Fear during the Horus Heresy, and that's one of my favourite science fiction books ever. It's about the um, word bearers attack on Kalf, and it's so good. The way it's written is super interesting. Aurora, it lays waste to the heretics. 
where is he Mura? The traitors are taking a thrashing down there. Let us add to it. Yeah, they're taking a thrashing. That's such a British word, isn't it? A thrashing. They're taking a thrashing. Cogitation looks accurate. The unguents have been thrice applied. It is loose. Blind We're about to get into uh, Thankfully, his diligence has not made him faster. We're about to get into some epicness now. <laughs> Lieutenant Titus, praise the Omnisire. I love Servo Skulls. You will bear witness to You must stop this. We should invent those for at work, eh? You should be able to like walk around. If you work in IT, you should be able to walk around with a servo skull. Can you imagine it? And I have seen the worst. My phone's not working. Oh, have you turned it off and on again? The epic. This has has been my quest for knowledge. My life's work. Shut it down. Now. I will not. Forgive me, Lord. Time will reveal I think, the purity I think, of my um, if I ever become a billionaire, that's going to be my goal, way, eh? is to create um, servo skulls for IT support workers. So this... This dude can't be a thousand sun from the time of the heresy. I don't think, because I thought all the thousand suns went through the um, process that turned them into basically like a one with their armor. That's still a noble goal. My, my goal is like, we're talking billionaire territory, I'd have to be a billionaire to be able to achieve it. If I win Lotto, I'm just playing video games and doing tons of cocaine basically, that's going to be me. But if I become a billionaire, all the shenanigans stops and work on Project, project Servo Skull begins. Oh, I should watch out for the big camera. Oh man, reload! I might be joking about that. Maybe, uh... Maybe just way too much beer. I'd probably start smoking again as well, actually, which is not a good thing. Like, it's probably a really good thing that I never win the lottery. Oh my god, I'm crap at dodging this guy. Oh man. Gotta watch out for them plasma blasts. Oh. I am definitely gonna die. Reload, reload. Shoot him in the face. You damnable beast. Uh oh. I probably want to get away from this corner, eh? If 
if you pull off a perfect dodge, you get the um, you get the little icon to shoot them in the face. Oh no, get drill down. And so is he. Yeah. Oh yeah, name in the face. Rip his thing off. And rip the head off him. Beautiful, beautiful work. This is the end for you, wretched. Only a only a little a little buff. Yeah. Somewhere between movie star and politician. I don't know if you're, about, you're allowed to make jokes about that stuff on like YouTube and Twitch, eh? I am joking. I do not condone things that are bad for you like that. This guy's being way too optimistic. Gadriel knows. Gadriel knows something is afoot. I think these guys have just encountered the um, crowd strike bug. Uh oh. Him is now dead. They've stolen the artifact. So they tricked the Admech guy into thinking that the thing worked to get rid of them so that he would use it, but in actual fact it makes them more powerful. Oh. They played Admech like a fiddle. I'm going to use this opportunity to take a very quick break. I'll be back in like a minute, maybe not even a minute, maybe even 30 seconds, but I will just wait for it to load so I can pause it. Okay, back in a sec. Titus to Akaran. Do you read me? And the uh, phone's not working. Look how good this looks. It doesn't even use like ray tracing. He took the whisperings of that sorcerer to be his own I don't actually know what like game engine they use. Maybe it's their own one. They killed Nozick. Led us to believe they would do the same to lose. So we would deliver him precisely. But they do use Epic Online. Maybe it uses Unreal Engine, I don't know. Looks phenomenal though. To trick that puppet lose into finishing the work. Looks phenomenal. Phenomenal. This is worse than I could have imagined. That pillar uh -oh. floods the land with corruption. I just Akaran, come in. Doesn't look good, does it? Is we must find our brothers. 
Better find our brothers, brothers. Uh oh. Like one of my favourite little trivia bits is, I'm presuming this is the lady, but there's a husband and wife and they do loads of the voice work in this game. And they're like husband and wife. I thought that was quite cool. A silent whale of corruption. Oh, okay. Spoiler alert. Epic moment coming up soon. Be prepared. Can we trust it? I believe so. Mark it on all space. Alt rifle with yes, grenade sir. launcher? Don't mind if I do. Actually, this whole section of the game is full of epic moments. Probably should have stayed with the heavy bolter. Ah, oh, I thought the press block in time then. Get wrecked. Oh yeah, Chiron's wrecking him. That's good. So let's go and take care of this fella. Beautiful work, brothers. Beautiful work. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing we carry on this way. I gave a spoiler alert for nothing. The um, epic bit I was thinking of is a little while away yet. Damn heretics spill from every crevice. Luz was so convinced Aurora would destroy the traitors. Yeah, we got played. We got played, Gadriel. Big time. Okay, so we ain't going down there. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to... Yeah, just took a little while. I think sometimes the dialogue has to finish before it all... Before it will uh, trigger the thing for the next area. wreck this dude oh right that is it buddy some of these uh yeah finish him off Aaron. good work we thought your squad did we were spared that fate the captain awaits you inside courage and honor courage and honor okay now it gets brothers Oh yeah, you've seen that clip. That's what I was um, 
sort of alluding to, but not quite. A bit before that is cool. Yeah, S same character, but a, l a couple of minutes earlier, he does something else that's epic as well that I love. But it's probably in that clip that you've seen. And not a scratch on that pillar. If it has a weakness, I need to know what it is. It is powered by the artifact from Grya. If we can destroy that, where is it? We do not know. You call that a solution? What is the alternative? There is a field around the pillar, impenetrable to our ordnance. We have observed their forces passing through it on foot. We must get close enough to see if we can do the same. Proceed through those doors. We make our assault imminently. Look at that, he's got his iPad. His helmet. Follow our Korean. Okay. Uh, I'm not taking a melter bomb, because I always forget. Actually, crack grenades are good, because they stick to bigger, stronger enemies. And classic chainsaw time. Our forces are divided in two. Love this. I will lead the main assault from the Temple of Aethoth. I sent two squads to move on the enemy's flank, but we have lost contact with them. They are carrying the company standard. Got here, what Sniper, Oculus, Heavy. Let's go with that. Upper Marines assemble. And then they leave leave it up to the lieutenant to open the door. Sure. The front is beyond this bridge. Hell Drake. Oh gee, I wonder what's going to happen to the Helldrake. When you fight baddie space marines, crack grenades are your friend. Where is it? Where's that Terminator? Um, get isolated like this, probably not a good idea, but... Death or Glory Brothers! And also Terminators just wreck you from long range, so... Closing in on them is probably a good idea. There's a lot of Space Marines! I saw a few people were a bit upset you don't get to fight an orc That's in the first game and they were the bad guys. Limited maneuverability. Have you considered exterminatus? This is a burial world, Titus. If we fail to defeat the Yikes, enemy, then he I needs will a wash. this place. But I would prefer to not disgrace these honored dead. Can our scans locate the signature of the power source? We are blinded by all the interference. It is out there, at the heart of that profane madness. Agreed. One way or another, we must reach that obelisk. Gotta reach the obelisk. If I see an obelisk, I've, I just have no choice. There. I'm just drawn to it. Do we need obelisks in real life? I don't think I've ever seen a real obelisk. Alright, let's go! Although I feel like maybe we've missed grenades. I feel like I want grenades.
My bolter hungers. Oh, what was that? Auto bolt rifle. Sure, let's go for that. Oh, grenades. He mentioned grenades. We got any? Yeah. Yeah. True. I, I will go there next year and have a look, eh? Oh, look at that. Multi melter. Frag grenades. No, they're not. We must move quickly. They're not uh, crack grenades, which is better when you're fighting. Where is your false god's power now? Uh oh. Multi melters make a very short work of Chaos Marines. Although I'm pretty sure, like, literally, like, one shot from a multi melter can, like, take out a tank, so. Just goes to show how tough these boys are, I guess. Yeah, I think most of most of ancient Egypt is in the British Museum, eh? That's like the plot of the mummy returns, isn't it? Oh, I just made short work of that fella. That went well. That went well. See how the priests maintain these graves, even in the midst of this war. Their devotion is commendable. We must hurry. Our Pretty sure we're getting close to my favorite bit. They should be on the other side of that door. We've still got some mo Oh no, we're still not there. Brother, the standard. It lies crumpled in the dirt like a Oh, we're not having that. What are your orders? We fight. Brothers, assemble around the shelter. You see the symbol. Yes, brother. Victory or death. Victory or death. This is quite a cool little set piece, eh? You treacherous scum! Boom! Oh, oh Manius Kalgar, you are so cool. I hate saying that. The big man.
He's no Pedro Kentor, but he's cool. Central Obelisk appears to be the source of their power. It's protected by an energy field. Give me a solution. We've hit that shield with everything we've got. Nothing gets through. My lord! Your beard be could get way. through it, bro. In the catacombs, Lou said all it took was a transference of alignment. And then he inverted something. An object. What of it? It was identical to that obelisk. Good observation. Yep. You want to invert that? Explain. Your aura device might have a weakness. Might? Chapter Master. We cannot stay here. Lieutenant, you stand by Sergeant Gadriel's assessment. I do. Romance. Captain Akaran, muster your company. Aye, Chapter Master. Brothers, the heretics clamor for a taste of victory. But we will defy them this day, as we have defied them for ten millennia. We are the sons of Ultramar, servants to the Emperor and guardians of the Imperium. Let these wretches oh, yeah, feel we are. the wrath of ancient vengeance! I feel like that objective is disrespectful. Follow Kalgar. Do you mean Lord Marmius Kalgar? Chapter Master of the Ultramarines? Is that who you mean? Call him Kalgar. Oh, yeah, baby. You would not want to be in a tank, eh? Like, I would not want to be in a tank. Do you understand any of this? No. Lieutenant, do we have a solution or not? Stand by. Do it. Do it. Oh, Gadriel's getting in there. Yeah, that's working. That's working. That's having an impact on the Chaos Chicken. Chaos Rooster, maybe? Call it what you will. Let's go. Let's go and invert some ob obelisks. Have you received new orders from Akaran? I don't want this. I don't want this. So that's on route to point beta. You will need to rotate the small replica of the obelisk. But be warned, it will hurt. Not as much as it will hurt the treacherous bastards out there. You tell him Decimus. Damn, they're sending 
kitchen sink at me here. Oh, nice, nice work, Elastic. Man. What did you draw? Oh, oh. Oh, I'm not actually quite sure what happened then, but that's all right. Oh, it's that dude. Rip his head off. Yeah, beauty. Oh, I missed guy. <clears throat> Love it. Gotta go and wreck that chicken. The Aurora device opens a rift to the immaterial. What? Oh, little Zingles sneaking up on me, little bastards. Hang on, I want to see what happens when you shoot it in the head. It didn't even feel it, did it? Damn. Ah. Yep. Let's go and cast them into the abyss. Love a bit of casting. Uh, oh, cool, man. I'll check it out. Love a bit of casting things into the abyss. Hmm. I wonder what came down in that. Where we go next? Um, that's how we came in, isn't it? Yeah. grenades but we get some ammo Look see how it rides in agony Okay so they got another one good way The blade in deep, brother. I sure will. I sure will try. Although, I'm about to do some serious skadooshin time now with the hammer. Nice. Thank you, Sergeant Ventian. Are we going to go this way? This plan of yours may actually work, Gatriel. The idea is worthless for those that execute it. I think my hearing is damaged. That sounded like humility. Right. Damn. 
I am getting rinsed. Time to put this hammer to use. It's morbin time. Your worthless life is ended. Not just ended. We're actually just like ripping the heads off. Oh, damn. I need to get a bit of st Oh! Get Run away! I'm not running away. I'm just trying to achieve a better firing position because I'm a space marine and we do not run away. Okay, maybe we... Maybe we should run away. Jeez! Hellbrute smash! Wait, I don't even know whether I've got frag grenades or crack grenades. What have we got? Because frag grenades are probably not much use. And it, uh, I know that a thunder hammer is probably overkill against these dudes, but if we don't kill them, they'll just snipe away at us like the little bastards that they are. Better get some ammo. Oh! No we won't. Because he's going to sneak up on us. Melter bomb, melter bomb. How do I use a melter bomb again? I can't remember. Oh, I think I put it on the ground. No. It did not work. Can we run? Can we run? Can we run? Yes. Oh! Not that it particularly helped, but what if? Oh no, he's already helping. Alright, he's not a million miles away from dying, so it probably needs neither am I though. Someone take out that little sniper vest. Who is he? I could be in trouble. Not sure how many more wounds I've taken. This is such a cool death animation. So what was the flying thing? If that's not a hell boot, I thought the flying thing was the hell boot. Titus, Desmus has a hold on the Obelisk controls. Oh nice, there's another one. Chaos chickens days and numbered. Yeah. Meridian, how is Decimus? I have a murderous headache. But the sight of that beast railing is a fine tonic. It is indeed. Permission. 
It is a fine tunnel. Granted. My thanks, brothers. Thank you for being with you. Bridging out. Good work, Decimus and friends. Do you hear that? Here we go, this is the bit I want. Love it. I love that he's like he's just turned up and he's like is Magnus here like a literal demon primarch I love dreadnoughts like I've never seen one survive a battle in a game of 40k because like any other unit like that they just get massively targeted destroyed early on usually. But they are cool. Oh, I've got no grenades again. We're going to have to get busy with the hammer. Alright, where are we supposed to go now? Let's follow this guy, I reckon, eh? Woo, indeed. He's just, yeah, he's epic. I love them. Here we go. Hell Drakes, that's what they're called. Hell Drake. And that dreadnought wrecked him. Big rock. Do not underestimate the power of masonry. Fallen masonry. I can talk about it safely now, but there's the little bit of a spoiler alert with um, Chiron that he's one of the original Primaris so he's like 10,000 years old but been in stasis he makes a comment about being a child on Kalth when the word bearers attacked it during the Horus Heresy oh my god look at that Plan has gone to ship, bro. What are you gonna do now? Should be Lord Kalgar. 
Yeah, the prim Primaris Marines were kind of uh, created by Rebute Gilliman and Belisarius Call, who was a uh, Admech after straight after the Horus Heresy, but he put them into stasis until he came back, basically. So 10,000 years later when he came back, he got the Primaris out of stasis. He didn't want anyone using them so soon after the Horus Heresy, because that had already showed like how how um, bad it could be if Space Marines fell into the wrong hands. So he didn't want his Primaris Marines falling in. So they haven't been active. They've been in stasis on Mars until Gilliman came back. Or well, not came back, but magically recovered from his injury. We must move quickly. But it's a cool little touch that Chiron. That Calgar, uh, Calgar, Chiron's been around that long. I thought that was really cool. I wish I knew as much about something useful as I know about Warhammer lore. I'd be like a billionaire. We'd be walking around with servo skulls on our shoulders. No, he didn't. Stop trying to trick me. My mind is not feeble. I'm not falling for that. Make a bulwark of your hatred, brothers. Gird your soul with the armor of contempt. See, Chiron! Chiron gives him respect. Fredo! This game looks crazy. It is epic. It is so good. It is so good. It's my game of the year so far. This is my third playthrough. And it's only been out for like... I got it on Early Access last week, so... You can play through it in like two sittings, but it's just insanely good. Wrong button. Ah, oh, no, wrong button. Gotta dodge the red ones and block the blue ones. And possibly dodge the big skeletons. Oh! What's he doing to me? Where am I? Suffer not their heretic. Absolutely. Oh my god, press the wrong button. I 
block breaking. It's my block. It's wrecking, brothers. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Damn it, I keep pressing the wrong button. Hi! Chaos Chicken! I don't think we can hurt it yet. It's gonna fire orbs. It's orb in time. We'll dodge them. Do we get to... Oh no, okay. He's back, so we don't get to hurt it yet. Ah, oh, come on, press the goddamn button. And again. No, nope. messed it up again. I need to start blocking his attack so we get the beautiful big cinematic being able to shoot him in the head thing. Oh, here we go. Chaos Chicken's back. Dodge those. Oh, is he little or is he far away? Small or far away? Small? Or far away? No, I think he's... No. It's kind of tricky because they move around so much. Jeez, I'm getting bounced around like a rag doll here. We're doing this the hard way, chat. We are doing this the hard way. The easy way is like... Blocking his attacks and headshotting him, which for some reason I cannot seem to... Oh yeah, here we go. Boom! Ah, oh, did he move? Best. Warp demon. Ah, oh, now we can... Aim for the eye, bros. Aim for the eye. It's got about eight eyes, though. Like, are we... And he's firing something at us. Oh, I think we, we may have got that eye. Have that in your face. Oh, I'm facing the wrong direction, don't do that. Alright, at least we got one like headshot thing on him. Oh, here's the demon back. Is that ammo anyway? There's gotta be some ammo somewhere. Oh yeah, ammo bottles, there we go. Sorry fellas, if you can just keep him off our backs for a minute while I... Pathetic Ultramarines, what are you talking about? Oh, I messed that up pretty badly. 
sweet that might Come on, help me up, Kairong. Thank you very much. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Alright, shoot it in the eyes, brothers. Shoot it in the eye. I know it is, but I don't also know how to uh, dodge it. That seemed to help. Man, this just burnt my eyes. Sorry about that chat, your retinas, I apologize. If you have no retina left, my bad, should have warned you. We are surrounded. Kill as many as you can, brothers. They are mere imitations. More trickery. God yeah. Himura is weakening. That last fight will leave him really. Stay together. We must find a way out. Oh! One of them actually shot us. I thought they were just like mirages. Over there, something is happening. We should have been. Oh yeah, let's head towards that big pile of big pylon of light. Back to the warp with you, space Egyptian. Sorcerer's power wavers. He is vulnerable. See how his domain weakens as he does. There is only one place left for him to hide. Let us dig out the heretic. Fight your way to the energy stream. I see him inside the stream. He prepares for another attack. It is the artifact. It must be. There is almost limitless power within that shaft. Then we must make haste. It's a lot of thousand suns. I press block instead of dodge. Yeah, Kalgar. He wrecks, eh? Coming to get you. Cinematics are really good.
on. Come on! Is it though? Get wrecked. That is a pretty epic, pretty Rise, epic, uh, son of Gilliman. ending little cinematic there, eh? Good work. Courage and honor, chat. Courage and honor. Rise, Titus. Your duty is not yet done. Oh, Titus, he looks pretty wrecked, eh? Been a rough day at the office. Chat for the Emperor. We just need like the president from Independence Day to pop up and give like a big epic speech, and then like all these jets to fly overhead, firing off fireworks. That would have been the perfect ending. I give that ending nine and a half out of ten. Actually, I don't know. I can't remember if that's the ending. I may have had a few beers last time I played this. I know that doesn't sound like me. You might be shocked to hear that, but it's the truth. Combined with the fact I have a total goldfish memory anyway. And Titus, your decisive actions have saved this system from ruin. And so it is with great pride that I now present you with an honor worthy of your deeds. The Laurels of Victory. Oh yay. After all that, bit of helmet decoration. That here stands the true measure of a son of Gilliman. For the glory of Ultramar. Company dismissed. Forgive me, brother, that it took me so long to bring you home. My lord, that fierce was my wrath when I learned of your detention. In their arrogant suspicion, the Inquisition failed to recognize the truth. That no evil will ever overcome a devotion such as yours. Make me emotional. Stop My it. Lord, there is a mission. It will take you away from the second company for a time. As you command, Chapter Master. The brother chaplain will brief you. It was he that suggested you for the task. My lord, the sword of Kalf is ready to depart. Thank you, Captain. My ship will convey you to your destination. I should be glad is if it going to be DLC or the sequel? Surely DLC, because this game took like, years to make. It has been an honor. It has indeed, my captain. I hear you'll be taking your leave of us. Not for too long, I hope. Oh, they're now buddies. Isn't that nice? They're buddies now. 
On you, sir. Brothers, I am called to serve elsewhere. You'll be missed, my lord. I will not forget the blood we have drawn together. Nor shall we. I owe you both a debt. You have restored my faith in brotherhood. We shall await your return. Right in the fields, man. Right in the Courage fields. And Courage and honor. Courage and honor, boys. Would you call a lieutenant, my lord? Nitpicking, I know. Probably also it should be pronounced Lord Lieutenant, but... Informed you of your assignment. Good. I will brief you en route. You are joining us. But it actually, I don't know. Very good, my lord. You have done well. You have won the trust of your brothers. And of the chapter master. But know this, Titus. The stain of suspicion never completely fades. I will be watching you, should you falter on the path for even a moment. I will show no mercy. Oh. Leandros. Leandros. It is time. See you, brothers. Epic. Fucking beauty. Love it. What a game. What a game. So good. So good. This is what happens when you get people who love the source material genuinely rather than people who pretend but people who actually love the source material and then you give them a big bag of gold and go do what you want and they go okay and they come up with an absolute gem of a game like this. If you're a Warhammer nerd, like, I, I don't know what this would be like if you're not into Warhammer. I honestly don't know. Maybe you'd be like, oh, it's a bit like Gears of War. It's Gears of War, but you can't take cover. Maybe that might be how it is. But if you are, if you're into the setting, this game is easily 9 out of 10. It's my game. It's my game of the year. I can't even remember what other games have come out this year. That's how. That's how much this game like punched me in the face, and went, boosh. Yeah. So there's a. You might like a novel, Elastic Man, uh, Dead Sky, Black Sun. Which is part of the Uriel Ventress series. It's the third book in that series. And him and his, um, him and his sergeant Pesenius? Pesenius? I can't remember. Um, they end up through a bit of warp 
tomfoolery and they end up on a uh, demon world with the Iron Warriors. It's very cool. It's very cool. But who knows? They, I'm, uh, I would like them to do a DLC. I'm not gonna lie. They should do a DLC where um, Gadriel's the main character. That would be pretty cool. I would be happy with that. That'd be pretty mean. I think him and Chiron are worthy of having a little spin-off thing going on. But yeah, 20, like it could be 2035 before Space Marine 3 comes out. Unless they like literally, oh, sorry, I'm yawning. I'm actually really sick. I'm full of cold. But I doped myself up on um, paracetamol before I started streaming to get through it. And it's starting to uh, wear off a little bit now. So it says engine core lead and engine core programmers. So clearly they did not use like Unreal Engine or anything. I wonder. Like that's pretty impressive, isn't it? To create that game and use their own engine. That probably explains why it took so long to make. I actually agree with CD Projekt Red that with what they're doing where they've gone why bother creating your own game engine when you can just take uh, Unreal Engine and do a do your own branch of Unreal Engine Ah, sorry shouldn't yawn But I think like the next Witcher and the next Cyberpunk, from a technical perspective, I don't know about story, hopefully they, they're as good story-wise as the Witcher 3 was and the Cyberpunk. Like Phantom Liberty is phenomenal. I could not get over how good Phantom Liberty was. There's a bit in Phantom Liberty that blew my mind. I was like, I can't believe video games can reach this level at times. But now they've got, like, they've clearly built this game engine. They could just make a sequel, like, they wouldn't need to do anything too um, radical from a technical point of view. I mean, how do you make, how do you make games look better than what they are today? I know that you can. You eventually end up at like photorealism but do people even want photorealism in video games like you kind of want to know that you're playing a video game don't you <laughs> that's my view that's my view anyway A lot of people involved in this game. Damn, I've run out of beer. It's annoying. I only had two though. I was a good boy. Oh, look at this. They've got an IT department. A lot of support administrators. Only two people on their help desk. Wow. And an electrician. Where they're based. I'd like to know where they're based. So that I can run over there and give them a high five. 
for making such an amazing game. Look there for a job title, custodial. That's a pretty cool, cool job title. How do you get to be a custodial? Sabre promo team. Well done to the Sabre promo team, says I. They have promoted the shit out of this game. They've done a great job. Oh, office cat. They have an office cat. Production babies. Jeez. Productive people. Production pets. I want to know who Penelope Elven Forest is. Kind of Theodore the Cat, yeah, I like it, I like it. We used to have a neighbour who had a cat called Richie McPaw. Which I always thought was amazing. And it went missing, so there were all these signs up in our neighbourhood. Say missing cat, Richie McPaw. And it turned out he was in someone's garage when they went on holiday. <laughs> Jesus, there's a lot of pets. Geralt of Pushkin. Mm -hmm. Seen a lot of these names pop up in multiple places. Like, I think they have, uh, Multiple roles, say, eh, within the company. Q&A, the unsung heroes. They play the game to death. Imagine having the job. Like, it sounds cool doing uh, testing, but it actually sucks. I've done it when I was a much younger man, and it sucks. I'm only watching the credits because I feel like I should because these people have put their heart and soul into this game I think it's only fair that we acknowledge There's a lot of people. Yeah, Martin Ent. Maybe he's the person to thank for it being so law friendly. Pull up entertainment. Who are they? What did they do? they really are thinking everyone good on them though if you've worked for them and had something to do with this game I think absolutely 100% you should get a credit
did SPL do? What was there? Level designers. Oh yeah. the wheel my hand controllers turned off switch game mode to proceed although Titus's journey is over for now the fight has just begun continue the battle in one of the other game modes operations or eternal war cool I'm done though Um, I'll be back on tomorrow and we'll do some operations because I've only done one of them in the six and the one that I did was amazingly good fun you actually you have to play with other people so um, we'll squad up tomorrow and do do some of the operations eh Thank you very much for tuning in. Anyone who tuned in on YouTube or Twitch.tv, I really appreciate it. Elastic Man, you legend, as always. Yeah, that was Space Marine 2. Pretty cool, eh? Bombastic spectacle. God, I'm so bald. Crazy how bald I am. I have like no hair at all you may laugh it happens to us all one day i'm gonna go to bed and sleep and uh hopefully feel a bit better tomorrow and then we'll be back on do some operation stuff take care courage and honor gang courage and honor